Van Dyke Mortgage, we, you know, we started uh, 1987, July of 1987, the company was founded here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We recruited Mario in to join our company as one of our uh, branches to serve the Muskegon community. He has grown to uh, five locations, uh, serving people up and down the lake shore. A lot of companies, they're sometimes in it more for themselves and closing that deal for just their monetary reward. And I think with Mario and his company, it's not just that. And I don't know if that always happens in our world. Hello, this is Dmitry, the Russian hacker. Please disregard the following message from Ketchmark Technologies. It will make my life easier. Thank you. If you own a business today, that business is exposed to digital risk. Data privacy, compliance, and of course, cyber attack risks are just a few that you may need to manage. If you don't have the staff or internal expertise to help mitigate risks your organization faces, call Ketchmark Technologies at 616-384-4616. So once I started brewing, um, I fell in love with the industry the people of the industry, um, and just how craft beer brings people together. The community has really uh, accepted us, and really we, we made this place to create our clubhouse, pretty much, where we want to hang out, and we have the beers we want to drink and the stuff we want to do, and we really hope that the community would just be of that same mindset and want to come here, too, and have fun, and they sure have. <laughs> Connectivity is the glue that binds all digital solutions. Without connectivity, hardware becomes useless, software is inefficient, and smart solutions turn dumb. Alexa! The Catchmark Connectivity Service Team are experts at delivering the dynamic solutions and connectivity that businesses need. Whether your business needs structured cabling, networking, or connected solutions such as digital audio and video camera systems, Catchmark can get you connected. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall. You have a lot of choices when it comes to insurance companies, so let me help you narrow them down. Hi, I'm Jenna Potts, your local Farm Bureau insurance specialist with the Durga Insurance Group. We are a company dedicated to serving only Michigan. We know you, we understand you, we protect you. All of us at the Durga Insurance Group live and work right in this area, so we're always nearby. Local agent, local service, and local savings. Come and see us today or visit our website, durgainsurancegroup.com, to find out more. Hi, West Michigan. I'm David Dusenberry, and I'm your real estate advisor. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house, now is the time. The market is hot. Give me a call. We'll set something up and figure out what's best for you. 231-670-6253. Psst, hey, did you hear? Catchmark offers digital media services. Catchmark Web Services offers website and media content to help grow your business. Our web service team can help you design, develop, and implement custom websites that are search engine optimized. We also produce videos and media presentations that engage and communicate with your target audiences. We define, develop, and execute the most efficient plan to reach your audience. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall.
just do I'll just do all shots okay. together. This guy used to play Good. for Muskegon right here. All right, here we are back at the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, my name is Dylan Darga, here with Kyle Skodak. Uh, we've got Billy Mann, the producer, Jesse King the, in production, and Lee Andrews, our uh, stadium announcer for tonight. Uh, tonight, we've got a great game between Muskegon Risers uh, versus the Cincinnati Swerve. Uh, an important game for Muskegon because uh, if they win this game, uh, they can uh, pretty much lock up the second seed uh, in their indoor league right now, uh, which is huge uh, going forward. So uh, a lot a lot to play for, a lot to look forward to tonight. Um, Kyle, what do you got? Yeah, I mean, uh, it would be great to lock up a number two seed, uh, guarantee us, you know, almost a, uh, a home game. You know, our arena is very unique compared to other places we play in. Um, it's, you know, it's one of a kind. Um, I think it gives us definitely an advantage. Uh, if you look at our home record versus our away record, it shows. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, there's not many places that uh, you can come and have the atmosphere like you have here at Mercy Health Arena. Whether you are playing indoor soccer or whether it is um, you know your USHL uh, and your Muskegon Lumberjacks. So um, looking forward to today. Where it looks like the fans are trickling in. Uh, we got people coming in from Rad Dads. We got people coming in from the side on the uh, the Van Dyke Convention Center here, um, and it's great to see a lot of young kids in, a lot of youth teams uh, looking to uh, you know find uh, you know some inspiration from some of these uh, older risers players, and uh, I think this is a great setting, a great venue, uh, just like Kyle talked about. Uh, Kyle, can you talk a little bit about yourself and uh, you know what your soccer background is in the area? Yeah, uh, I've been coaching uh, high school soccer for varsity at Orchard View for the last 10 years. Um, I picked up the girls' JV job um, for the last four years. Um, just been a product of Muskegon. That's awesome, man. I, I We truly appreciate that, and, uh, you know, uh, I think that uh, – you know, your dedication to our student athletes in the area is, is, is well seen and, and well read with around everybody. And, uh, you know, I continue that. And we've got a lot of, again, youngsters here. So, um, you know, uh, you know, maybe some of those will be future Orchard View Cardinals. Uh, and you got one. We actually, got one here. You got, you you got, you got, actually, you got one yep. that you coach on the uh, on the uh, on the risers team, which is awesome. So. Um, pretty soon here, we're going to have uh, bring it down to Mr. Lee Andrews, uh, and he's going to do introductions for us. Um, you know, again, on February 19th in 2022, what better place could you be than Mercy Health Arena and listening and watching the risers play uh, as there's not – now it's, it's cold outside. We were just oh, outside a second cold. ago. <laughs> yeah. It is not. It is not fun outside. There's not a lot to do unless you have a hill somewhere close. Um, so this is this is great. We're we're really looking forward to this, and uh, you know we can't wait. So, um, what else you got to add for tonight? I mean, what what are some keys? I know that uh, last time we were in this building, um, you know Miguel Flores had four goals, and he absolutely, uh, you know set himself apart for the goal scorer uh, in the league and the top goal scorer in the league. So. Yeah, 19 on the season. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Um, he's got some good guys around him to set him up. Um, he's going to have to step it up with, you know, another great player out, uh, Ryan Zelo. Um, so we'll yeah, see. Zelo's missing tonight, isn't he? Yeah, we'll see if, uh, you know, Coco can really step it up here and, you know, kind of put some goals in and help uh, uh, distance, you know, away from Cincinnati. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I doubt that his goal is to be the top goal scorer in the league, but, uh, you know, if it helps his team out and accomplish what they need to accomplish this year, uh, I think he'll uh, embrace that role uh, like he should. And, uh, yeah, I think you've got it right. This is going to be a fun game. And uh, last time we were in the, the Mercy Health Arena, the risers absolutely put on a clinic. Uh, against the Chicago team, only limiting two goals in the first quarter and nothing uh, on. So if you think about 45 minutes of indoor soccer not conceding a goal, you know, that is uh, unprecedented stuff. So 
Um, you know, what, what do you got to say about that? Yeah, I mean, I was at that game. Defense played great. Goalkeeping was great. Um, the atmosphere that those guys uh, were around, all around great. Um, they can keep that and keep going forward with that. I think they're going to do some good things tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I think you're right. Um, looks like we've got the uh, the Cincinnati Swerve coming out right now. They are in their black and white striped uniforms. Uh, they will be moving from right to left. Um, got them coming out here. We got announcer Lee Andrews uh, on the call here. In a second, we're going to bring it down to to them. Uh, and kind of get going for the risers here. Again, as the, the fans start trickling into the Mer Mer Mercy Health Arena here, uh, it's a beautiful thing to see in downtown Muskegon. Uh, if you've not been to a game, not been to a hockey game, not been to a risers game, uh, get yourself down here. It is an amazing family atmosphere. Uh, you're going to love it. Uh, there's a lot of things to do in downtown Muskegon, uh, which is amazing. So we got Ben Ritzma coming out. Uh, and his suit, or actually his shirt and tie and his slacks uh, like normal. And uh, looks like he's followed by... Uh, Cody Lost there. Co Assist assistant yeah. Cody Lost tonight. Looking dapper. In looking his boot. absolute dapper. Oh, yes, in his boot. In like, his boot. Hey, do you think he intended it to match his pants like that? Man, I don't know. Yeah, that's, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Good. So uh, we're going to bring it down to Mr. Lee Andrews for the risers call here uh, and introduce our risers players here. Here we go. Beautiful night for indoor soccer in Muskegon. We want it to be loud in Mercy Health Arena for the entire game. So, Risers fans, are you ready? Then it's time to get on your feet, put your hands together, and welcome your Muskegon Risers. From Johannesburg, South Africa, goalkeeper number one, Akani Mayamu. From Grand Rapids, number two, Henry Spees. From Grand Rapids, number four, Brandon Gisborne. All the way from Muskegon, Michigan, number six, Brandon Edwards. From Guatemala City, Guatemala, number seven, Albany Mendez. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, number 11, Jacob Haas. From Cleveland, Ohio, number 17, goalkeeper Michael Palmer. From Cleveland, Ohio, number 13, Steve Merker. From Wakefield, England, number 19, Adam Knight. 
from Bloomington, Illinois, number 21, Ryan Woodside. From Paris, France, number 22, Boris Anguilla. From Buffalo, New York, number 23, Colin O'Keefe. From Brighton, Michigan, number 27, James Dutcher. From Muskegon, number 28, Miguel Flores. Also from Muskegon, number 68, Michael Smith. And from Grand Rapids, number 94, Moses Crawford Jr. Athletic trainer is Nick Taylor. And the head coach of your Muskegon Risers is Ben Ritzema. Let's hear it for your Muskegon Risers. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats as we honor our country and the brave men and women serving in the armed forces throughout the world with the singing of our national anthem. Performed tonight by Joel Olson, father of risers number 20, Emily Olson. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave yeah give it up Thank you, Joel, for leading us in our Star Spangled Banner this evening. All right, back to the Mercy Health Arena. We've got your Muskegon Risers playing your Cincinnati Swerve. Uh, you know, long trip here from uh, to Cincinnati up to Muskegon. Um, Kyle, what do you think uh, Cincinnati's thinking right now as they uh, are about to take the field and, and take on the home team, uh, the Risers here? You know, I think they got to get... Uh they know what's on the line coming in. So if they can come out with a win tonight, they're gonna be you know, happy with the result. But at the same time, they need to be prepared for Muskegon's firepower in this, on this home field. Yeah, the, again, last time we saw the Muskegon at home, it was a 12 to, no, it was a 13 to two victory over Chicago. And it was absolute dominant performance from the risers. And I gotta imagine that Muskegon is looking to build off of that. Uh, if you look at the league, um, a lot of the home uh, records are absolutely incredible from all teams and you know you have Cleveland up top that's you know kind of kind of beating everybody but um, you know at home risers have done very well I think four and one at home and uh, you know this is you know you don't want to say a must win game but uh, if they get this one this is this is big steps going forward right no, it's huge steps going forward I mean this would be probably the first time they've made the playoffs and they had a home game yeah, and can you imagine what a home playoff game would look like in Muskegon uh, in March? That would be uh, that would be pretty fantastic for the crowd, for the town, for the team. I agree. Can't wait. 
wait to see some, some good soccer going to be here. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Cincinnati Swerve is brought about, oh, we got uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have about a 12 players. We're a little bit larger roster here for the risers, which is always the case for the home team. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's see what happens here. Cincinnati, do you think there's any hangover from the uh, Super Bowl loss last week? Uh, With uh, the risers bench, if they can wear them out, they can put in some goals here. Looks like the Cincinnati's got, looks like a veteran keeper back there. Yes, absolutely. Number zero, uh, Mark Saltile. So here we go. We got the uh, Cincinnati Swerve working from right to left. We got the risers working from left to right uh, as we go here. Uh, we got about 15 minutes in this first quarter here. Uh, and let's roll the ball out. Let's see what happens. And, you know, let's see what happens in this first five minutes here. What are we expecting from the risers? Oh, we're thinking uh, we, we got Coco up top with Mendez in there. So we're getting some, some great combinations up top. Um, with Densmore and Edwards at back on the defense. Yeah, you got Edwards in, your uh, the player that you coach, yeah, which is awesome. To. Got also got uh, Crawford in the back. So Cincinnati plays it back, plays it in deep. Um, easily gobbled up there by uh, Mayumbo. Ball played out. Looks like that is going to be a riser's ball. Looks like Brent Edwards is going to be on the ball. Looks like if he switches here to, uh, there we are, to uh, Crawford. Crawford. Crawford to Mendez on the left side here as we go forward. Looking to build numbers up. Pass back to Edwards. Edwards looks in, plays it into, uh, we got Densmore. number. Densmore. Densmore back to Crawford. Crawford looks like he might be sweet. Oh, he plays it in. Not a bad ball. Why not give your top goal scorer a chance early on? Ball dispossessed. Getting pretty physical. Nice double team there by the risers. Been unlucky there. Cincinnati, not a lot of people. Oh, unlucky there by Flores as the foul going forward. Not a bad chance to reset. Uh, number eight with the ball here. Uh, Al Jai, keeper plays it in. Uh, Crawford easily possessed. Ball played in from Cincinnati, plays up top. Easy from Aldoni. Oh, a bit, uh, oh, Flores on the breakaway and on the left side. Looks like he's got numbers on the far side. Not a bad ball. Hey, goal! What a beautiful pass by Flores off the boards to Dinsmore. Two minutes, eight seconds into the game. Can you ask for a better start? No, I don't, I don't think you can. No. You got to do one of your best players, you know, he does what he does. I think that's the way that uh, Coach Ritzma uh, may have drawn that one up. I don't know. It's, uh, we'll tag that one down. 1-0, one your risers go up front. Uh, looks like it got a, oh, again, easy pressure here. Ball played in the middle. Got Oh, he missed him on the outside. I don't think he was in position to play that ball, though. Uh, 11 of the ball down deep. That's Potts. Potts, a little dispossessed there. Risers look back to get the ball. Um, dispossessed by the goalkeeper here. Getting a little physical in the middle there. That's number 19, that's Knight. Uh, 27 here, that's Dutcher. Dutcher back to Schmidt. Schmidt didn't see a lot of minutes last game. I don't know if it was nursing an injury right. He started the game, but that was about it. So it's good to see him back here. Rocking that uh, almost like mullet flow. Mendez didn't like that he didn't play his feet. Uh, a bit unlucky there. I think uh, we'll challenge things a little bit different here. Oh, pretty scrappy in the, the down the line. Oh, cheeky pass there by number 22. Ooh. Uh, that is Mosier. Ooh, against the boards here. And that's one thing that Muskegon didn't do last time. They didn't, they didn't get in foul trouble. There was not, I don't think there was a blue card until the fourth quarter here. Uh, we got the ball passed down. Mendez Aldoni with the ball. Uh, possessed, he's challenged by two Swerve players. Uh, looks like Aldoni's got the ball. Oh, unlucky there. A couple swerve players down. So pretty good by the risers so far. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, we got great pressure up front. 
Um, defensively, they're getting back well enough, and uh, they're holding them up to get players, other players back as well. Man, Edwards closed that space down real quick. Is that something that you've seen from him a lot? A lot? Oh, yeah. BB is such a hustler. He gives everything he, every time he goes out. Is there a uh, uh, reason why BB is the nickname there? It's just what, I, just what he did, it's huh? what it is. There we go. All right, Crawford back. Uh, looks like you're going to play back to Crawford. Uh, Crawford plays it in. Not a bad look. Not a bad idea. Uh, possessed by the swerve keeper. Keeper plays it out to number 23 here. We've got Gray. Gray back to the keeper. Um, can't do it. Can't do that. Um, looks like uh, it's going to be Riser's ball uh, in their attacking third here. Uh, dangerous situation again. What are we What are we looking for here, Kyle? Um, I think you know if we got a shot, we're going to take that shot, but if Risers actually have a pretty good setup on their set plays, so we're look. I'm seeing. I'm thinking they're gonna set it off right here. Let's see what. Let's uh, play it quick and get a goal. Yeah, a goal. let's see if they uh, tee it off. If there's a little bit misdirection here, uh, we got 23 on the ball. That is uh, O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks. Can't find anybody. Oh. Crawford looks to shoot. Uh, ball deflected. O'Keefe again gobbled up by number zero. Uh, that is Soltile. Uh, great, great ball there by number four. There, that's, that's Dinsmore. Our goal scorer for the night so far. Uh, Densmar, good pressure here by the risers. Looks like they got everybody man marked. Good. This is what they did well. They uh, uh, they did a great job of, of forcing those turnovers by Chicago two weekends ago. Merker. Good. good possession here by 22. That's Nagali, the MCC player uh, who plays for Brent Kowalski in that MCC squad who's just made it to uh, Nationals for the, I believe, third year in a row. Third year in a row. So a quality job by Brent Kowalski and the MCC Jayhawks and uh, Flores with the ball in deep, looking Flores. to play back, possess. Uh, we've got number 27 with Dutcher. Dutcher plays it off. Uh, we got Schmidt at the top of the key. Schmidt looking to rifle it. There we go. Oh, good good save by keeper. Yeah, not a bad look there by uh, Schmidt. Uh, number 11 here, Potts, Potts to Dutcher. Dutcher, Dutcher, Dutcher back to Flores. Flores with the cheeky touch back. Looks like the risers are doing a great job of holding possession, not forcing anything. 11 on the pots, pots back to Dutcher, Dutcher. Dutcher looking to find something. Looks like he's got Flores. Flores looks to turn, takes on a 2v1. Why not? You're the leading goal scorer in the league. See what can happen. He closes space down, closes space down. Ref says it's okay, and he finally calls it. Uh, Cincinnati looking to go quick. We are five minutes in, five minutes and 40 seconds into the first quarter, and we've got a 1-0 game. Risers uh, one, uh, Cincinnati swerve zero. Looks like the ref is, uh-oh, it takes too long. Uh-oh, oh. not a bad look. <laughs> hey, why not? Why not? Cincinnati taking too long there. Um, looks like they might get the ball back uh, as Sotile will have it. The ball's going to be in hand. Looks like uh, risers have everything pressured right now. Uh, big ball down. That might go for three. Mendez takes it down out of the air. Uh, Flores looks to go. Oh, uh, that might be. Oh. Keepers out. Ooh, oh, not bad. Face. <laughs> Number two. Spees. <laughs> Again, another MCC player that plays for Brent Kowalski with the Jayhawks here. Uh, people filling in at the Mercy Health Arena, which is great to see. I know that the players love to see uh, a home stand here uh, with tons of people, uh, which is great to see. And Crawford getting post up by number eight, or oh, is that number 27? Oh, great ball across, number 17 uh, off the boards, a little bit wide. Looks like the risers are looking to go quick. Uh, 27, that is uh, Canal. Uh, my elbow cleans that one oh. up real nicely. Great oh, great idea from uh, Flores to uh, Mendez there. Uh, keeper from the swerve brings the ball forward, dispossessed. We have Brandon Edwards play the ball forward. Number 20 here. Uh, Petri looks to go forward. Um, is that uh, no. Potts on the far? No, it's no, not. O'Keefe. O'Keefe on the far side, a little bit dispossessed. We got a 3v2 here. Or 2v3, a little bit. Edwards again, scrappy with the defense, draws a foul, I love it. 
That's uh, that's what you want out of that uh, defensive unit, right? Scrappy, draw the foul, and frustrate the attacking player. Oh, definitely. You want to get them as frustrated as much as possible up top. Disrupt their passing flow. Nugella with the ball, passing it over to uh, O'Keefe. Nugella in the center, O'Keefe on the left side here. Looking to take him 1v1, nice little step over move. Uh, ball in, nice little touch off there. Unlucky on the touch there. Oh, bit of a foul there, but uh, we're going to let it play. Number 19, Knight on the ball. Uh, showing a lot of composure here from the risers. What can we say, Kyle? Great possession so far. You can see they're really comfortable out there, and, you know, they're oh, really working great the touch here. Right yes. Oh, great step over. Uh, oh, what a shot. Been unlucky there, but um, O'Keefe with the uh, fancy, or du that was Dutcher, Dutcher with the fa Dutcher. fancy footwork there. Um, Double step over. Is yeah. Nice. Um, and the shot just a little bit off frame. I got to imagine they'll be looking to go. He steps out. Crawford back in. Number four with the ball. That's Dinsmore. Dinsmore to Crawford. Crawford. Oh, great look. Schmidt okay. posting up. Now, uh -huh. why, not have a sh why not have a shot there? The pace has been controlled by the risers, won't we say? Have yeah, we had any? Uh, brought down a few times, but the risers ate, ate up that. Yeah, there's not much. Uh, there They're hasn't really been a quality look yet from the the Cincinnati serve. Looks like uh, we're going to stop stoppage of play here. Um, we will head to break uh, with your Muskegon risers one, Cincinnati swerve zero. You have a lot of choices when it comes to insurance companies, so let me help you narrow them down. Hi, I'm Jenna Potts, your local Farm Bureau insurance specialist with the Durga Insurance Group. We are a company dedicated to serving only Michigan. We know you, we understand you, we protect you. All of us at the Durga Insurance Group live and work right in this area, so we're always nearby. Local agent, local service, and local savings. Come and see us today or visit our website, durgainsurancegroup.com to find out more. So once I started brewing, um, I fell in love with the industry, the people of the industry, um, and just how craft beer brings people together. The community has really uh, accepted us, and really we, we made this place to create our clubhouse, pretty much, where we want to hang out, and we have the beers we want to drink and the stuff we want to do, and we really hope that the community would just be of that same mindset and want to come here too and have fun and they sure have. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, your Muskegon risers up one to zero of the Cincinnati Swerve. We've got about seven minutes left, almost eight minutes left in this first quarter. Uh, Kyle, what, what do you see so far? Uh, we're seeing great possession by the risers holding the ball, taking some quality shots or, you know, they got seven shots compared to Cincinnati's one right now. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, honestly, Cincinnati, too. I, I mean, credit their defense, too. Uh, honestly, there's been not that many uh, that have been quality looks from the risers. But at the same time, they're applying the pressure. They're the ones that are being the enforcers right now. And, uh, you know, usually uh, those are the, the opportunities that will get the goals. And, um, you know, anytime Mayumbo can't touch the ball, that's a good thing for the risers. So it uh, looks like Edwards is going to start with the ball here for the risers. Um, we've got, a, again, about seven minutes and 41 seconds left uh, in the first quarter. Edwards plays it in. O'Keefe. O'Keefe on the challenge. Edwards on the challenge. Crawford on the challenge here from 27. 17 with the ball. Again, as soon as Cincinnati gets the ball, there's there's two a man rises. that's yeah, that's being met. Yep. Um, you know, here we go. Post up by uh, the swerve there. Oh, defense. Great, great Keep defense it. by the uh, the risers there by Edwards. Oh. Look to switch, Cincinnati. Uh, number four there. That's uh, Washington. Washington plays it back to 17. 17. Mickelson. Mickelson back to eight. Eight. Uh, Agile. Agile plays it forward, and that's going to be gobbled up by Mayumbo. Mayumbo looking for players. Looks like a switch for the risers. Uh, we have number 22 on the ball here. That's Nigalu um, played it forward. We've got number 11. Uh, great ball off the boards. A shot. 
Oh, another another one. One. there it is. Hey. Goal! Dutcher finds the back of the net. Uh, uh, you know, what do you what do you think about that goal there? You know, goalkeeper mistake, and we 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 ate that up. Yeah, you, you give up a rebound inside your box there, and, uh, you know, uh, the risers really capitalize on that. So, well done from they Muskegon. Very well composed, like, stayed, you know, eye in the prize. They really didn't rush it. Take a nice quality shot. Yeah, good look. Was that his left foot, too? Yeah, it was Dutcher. There we go. Yeah. Mayumbo carts it in. We got Crawford as an option. He's looking to go big to Mendez. Mendez. Oh, great touch. Oh, oh, beautiful touch. He wasn't even looking to go. Yeah, here we are. Great, yes. Great feet. Well done. Look at the movement off the ball by Muskegon. Flores, Flores. Ball played out. Uh oh. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on number 27 there. That's Dutcher, the goal scorer here from a second ago. Keeper took it, uh, his legs out from under him. Unlucky there. Uh, doesn't look like there was any malice there. So uh, looks like we're going to play on here. Keeper might be thinking, I need somebody else to take this as uh, Muskegon's applying heavy pressure. Ball played forward and ball out of bounds. Ball Crawford with the ball on the right side here, uh, moving from left to right. Oh, defensive clearance in the defensive third. Oh, no, oh, was it? Yeah. I was going to say, I thought maybe it might go forward here. Crawford plays to Schmidt. Schmidt back to Crawford. Crawford back to Schmidt. Schmidt in the middle. He's got lots of options. Dinsmore with the ball. Uh, Schmidt with the ball. Schmidt, the Division II player, played at Muskegon Community College for Coach Ben Ritzma. Um, then transferred to uh, Charleston, West Virginia, uh, to play Division II soccer. Uh, Flores with the ball. Little dispossessor, number 21 here. Uh, trailer. Got the trailing. Oh, oh nice great save, save by Mayumbo. It's gonna to be tough to beat him today. Oh, nice touch there by eight. Oh, ah, uh, number eight with the goal, Manny. Adigel, Adigel. Uh, there's not much you could do about that, uh, Mayumbo. Um, there, there's not a keeper in the world that would have saved that one. That was a beautiful shot there. Absolute dart. So we have two to one uh, with five minutes left. Uh, a little bit more than five minutes left in this first quarter. Uh, risers with the ball, looking to play back. Uh, playing it back here. That is uh, Dutcher. Dutcher with the ball with the fancy footwork. Dutcher looks to go. Pass and move, pass and move. We've got number 19, that's Knight. Knight, Knight, Knight oh, plays great a ball. great ball in. Number two, that's Spees. Spees gets a little bit dispossessed there. Looks like risers take advantage of that bad touch there from uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati plays it in. Uh, again, dispossessed. We've got Edwards with the ball. Edwards looking to find his options forward. He finds, uh, who's that, Potts? Yep. Nice oh, shot there. Yeah. A great save by the, the keeper from Cincinnati. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Uh, ball out of bounds uh, off of Muskegon. Uh, we're looking to go forward here from Cincinnati. And Cincinnati working from right to left. Got about four minutes and 40 seconds left. Uh, we got one person posted up deep. That's going to be three lines. Nope. That's going to be out of bounds. Out of bounds. That'll be played up, up front because that was in the uh, defensive third of Cincinnati. If Cincinnati, uh, Muskegon can move quick, they can uh, quickly find a an opportunity. Yep. Mendez looks like he's trying to go quick too. So again, it's that misdirection versus having a shot here. What are we thinking to do in Kyle? Oh, I think Mendez shoot this. Ooh. Plays it off. Uh, a bit unlucky. That uh, netting wasn't there. That'd be a souvenir for a fan. Goalkeeper with the ball from Cincinnati. Plays it in deep. Crawford finds it. Not a bad out for Crawford at this reset. Cincinnati with the ball, 23. Looks to play it in deep. Uh, dispossessed. See what the risers plan on doing with that. A little bit dispossessed there by uh, the risers. Mendez, Mendez chasing the ball down. Uh, 
Number eight, again, immediate pressure by the risers, which I love to see. It's a great physical game. So yeah, far. it's been clean too. Nothing really dirty. Nope. Not a bad touch there by uh, Cincinnati. Oh, Ooh, on the miss volley. Looking at. Going for glory. You think he was trying to make sports center? Glory. Sports center with oh, that one. Top ten for sure. Yeah, he, that would have been something if he would have had a hit there. Fortunately for the risers, he didn't. Uh, and we're playing number 13 in here, uh, Merker. Merker back. Uh, looks like this one might head out. Unlucky on the risers. Love all the risers getting back on this quick transitions. He's calling it. Making sure he doesn't take too much time. Uh, you're not going to find, uh, you're not going to beat him up there. That's for sure. We got Dutcher on the ball. Dutcher to O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Looking to find somebody deep. He's got Flores. Flores, the leading goal scorer in the league. Bit dispossessed there, but he's on it. Not going to let him turn. Schmidt. Schmidt's right there to answer. Flores. Schmidt. Schmidt. Uh, great save there by the uh, swerve keeper. And a quick transition. What a great ball. What a great ball there by Cincinnati. That's going to be a foul on the risers. I think it may be a blue card, too. That's a foul you have to do sometimes, though. I, I don't uh, disagree with you there. That is a, uh, a 1v1 versus your keeper. Um, there's nothing wrong with that foul. I mean, let's see what happens here. Uh, we'll see if it was worth it. Uh, we've got 310 uh, left in the first period. Uh, Muskegon Risers are going to have to play with four. Um, I can imagine Coach Ben Ritzma is telling them right now their defensive formation. Uh, a lot of times team box us out uh, just like you would in hockey and make sure that, uh, you know, you have solid formation against a, a one-person uh, lead against you. So number eight, our goal scorer from Cincinnati. Oh, this is uh, a penalty Ma kick. Yeah, Manny. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh, no, it might be 11 on the kick here. Who is the one who took the follow? Alvarado. Alvarado looks like the right footer. Uh, look at how big Mayumbo is in the net. I mean, that's what does that do? Span. What does that do against a shooter here? Man, that's just he covers it, right? He covers so much of the net. We saw one of these in the girls' game earlier. The miss was wide. We'll see what happens here by Alvarado. Alvarado shoots yeah, right, down, right the down the pipe. We've got a two-two game. Uh, I believe Muskegon's uh, extra man can come back on. Um, two-two game. Cincinnati two. Muskegon Risers with two. Uh, as we continue with about three minutes left. Um, so unlucky there on the foul, but uh, I don't necessarily think that was a bad foul from Muskegon. No. Risers, I think they just need to get some more quality shots on that. Um, they're leading in shots right now. It's just they're not putting them in. Yeah, it's uh, you're not finding the corners, and um, like it can happen, right? This is a game of uh, chance and opportunity, and... Um, you know, I'd imagine that Cincinnati's had a handful of chances that have maximized, where Muskegon's only maximized uh, two of theirs. So Flores up, uh, Crawford up to uh, Edwards. Edwards dispossessed. We've got Dinsmore. Dinsmore on the ball. Dinsmore on the ball, uh, looking to go forward. Uh, we've got number 11 there, Potts. Potts dispossessed. 27 back to 28. Looks like he was a little bit scrambled there. Um, 21 on the ball for Cincinnati. Uh, Crawford cleans it up nicely. Yeah, a little bit extra stuff. Dinsmore did not appreciate that at all. <laughs> no, he did not. He went right in there after. No, it. no, it's uh, hey, it's it, it, it's a game like that. So yep, and he's still talking. Dinsmore is still talking to 21. We'll see what happens here. Uh, we've got uh, Aldoni. They're played playing it. Miguel. They're playing him yeah. today. Coco's had a, he's had a hard time, you know. When you're the leading goal scorer of the league, uh, you're going to get your, your best marked. mark on you. Mendez back to. Oh, look at all the space right here. Aldoni. Lots of space. Or not Aldoni. Oh. Third shot. Oh, oh, not a bad look there. The risers must come back here. Mendez with the uh, break up there. Oh, that studs up. Yep. Yeah, that's going to be that's a, a card. Blue. That's a blue? Yeah. That's a blue card, yeah. That's a blue. Both, uh, both refs agree. You know, whether you have studs on or not, you go in with the bottom of your feet like that, uh, it is not a good look. Uh, and Cincinnati finds themselves in the penalty box for two minutes. So risers will play with five versus four. Again, we will see what happens with uh, Cincinnati, what kind of formation they play. 
uh, going forward. Uh, risers with a two or with a man advantage uh, going into the second quarter uh, if it takes that long. But I'd imagine Ben Ritzma is going to dial something up here uh, to find a goal right before uh, the quarter is over. Ball played in, ball back. Uh, we've got uh, Flores. Flores back to Crawford. Uh, Crawford to Flores. Flores to Crawford. Crawford over to the side to O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Uh, we in. We're in deep on the other side. We got Crawford. Nice defense by Cincinnati, staying compact, not you know going too up far. Any space. Up. Yeah. I mean, what are you trying to do? Is you try to kill this penalty, Kyle? I mean, kind of like hockey. You're just trying to get it out of your zone right now until you have enough room. Yeah. Flores takes a whack at it, wide right or wide left. Uh, it's going to be Cincinnati's ball. I can imagine they're just going to look to. Yep. Uh, Possess it out and uh, kill some clock here. Let's yep. see what happens. Oh, oh great. 3v2 if they go quickly. Mendez, out oh, shot. Goal! Great shot. Mendez with the third goal for the risers tonight. It all started, right, from the, the high pressure that was Cincinnati there, right? Yep, one bad, one bad first touch led to a take for a turnover, and then uh, Mendez took it from there. It was quality to see Muskegon get into that zone as quick as they did after the turnover. Well done. Uh, ball played back to Cincinnati. Cincinnati just clears it. Aldoni should have no problem with this. He plays it forward. Uh oh, uh -oh. that's not. Oh, he was he was a foot and a half away from that thing being oh, ugly. What touch. a great touch! Unlucky. We got 13 dribbling down. Uh, 11, and eh, not a bad look there. Oh, just, oh. Uh oh, oh, keeper got lucky there. So dial. Not a bad look there from uh, the risers. Ball falls out. Uh, 27, we've got Dutcher. Dutcher going forward. Schmidt, Schmidt plays it back to 11. 11, Potts, Potts back to our goalkeeper, Aldoni. Or not Aldoni. Uh, Mayumbo, Mayumbo plays to Schmidt. Mendez uh, looks to split the defense. Mendez looks to take a 1v1. Yeah, he's looking for somebody to help him. Schmidt. Schmidt looking as well. We got number two. That is Spree Spees. Spees on the ball. Spees dispossessed there. Oh. oh. And, and that will do it for the quarter. Your Muskegon Risers with three goals. The Cincinnati Swerve uh, with two. Uh, we're going to take it to a break for a second, and we will be back in a second. Van Dyke Mortgage, we, you know, we started uh, 1987, July of 1987, the company was founded here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We recruited Mario in to join our company as one of our uh, branches to serve the Muskegon community. Uh, he has grown to uh, five locations, uh, serving people up and down the lake shore. A lot of companies, they're sometimes in it more for themselves and closing that deal for just their monetary reward. And I think with Mario and his company, it's not just that. And I don't know if that always happens in our world. All right, welcome back to Mercy Health Arena. We've got our Muskegon Risers here uh, with three goals in your Cincinnati Swerve uh, with two. Uh, Billy Mann, our producer, Jesse King the, on production, Lee Andrews announcing uh, the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, I am Dylan Darga. We've got Kyle Skodak here uh, on the call. Um, you know, Kyle, what, what do you see as we enter the second quarter here of Muskegon Riser Soccer? I think it was a great first half for uh, Muskegon. Um, even though Cincinnati got two goals on five shots, uh, Risers, you know, they really kind of peppered the shots, uh, 14 shots. Um, I think they just, you know, possessed just a little bit more and finding those backdoor passes or those easy passes, I think they'll score a lot more. Yeah, I think uh, Muskegon has done a great job. we got Ben Ritzma in the middle of the field right now, uh, talking to the crew, seeing what's going on. I think the, your risers have kind of settled their nerves a little bit. Uh, you know, gave, gave away two cheapies, uh, but, you know, one of those was a quality hit, uh, you know, but could have been avoided with the turnover. But, um, you know, great soccer so far. And, again, we talk about the facility. We talk about the environment. We talk about the arena here. And, uh, you know, it seems like more and more people are keep trickling in. And what more could you ask for on a February night uh, in Western Michigan? Yeah, there's not much more you could ask for. Um, it's a great atmosphere here in the newly renovated Mercy Health Arena. 
Yeah, if you are, uh, if you have not been to the arena yet, uh, since the renovation, uh, you need to get here. This is uh, great family fun, risers games, lumberjacks. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna have the Iron Men in here. Um, what a great uh, time to be uh, someone that likes to visit Muskegon. Um, this is this is gonna be great. It looks like uh, risers are ready to set up. Uh, if you're Cincinnati, what are you what are you saying here? Kyle? You know, I think they're going to stay with their same plan, at least it seems like. Uh, if they can get down and get a little possession, take a quick shot, try to catch Mayombo out, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, so far I think they've had a pretty good game plan. Um, you know, you travel, uh, Cincinnati's got to be about six hours, seven hours away. Uh, you're riding in a car on a Saturday. Uh, the road conditions are bad. You know, you probably don't really want to come to West Michigan. Um, and I think you're down one goal after one quarter, and I think... Uh, you know, you can you you can uh, you can kind of hang your head high about that. It's like we're gonna switch sides here. Risers are gonna move right to left. Cincinnati's gonna move left to right. Uh, we got Flores on the ball here. Uh, we got Flores looking to pump everybody up here. And again, risers start with another player advantage, uh, at least for a couple seconds, I believe, um, as we go into the second quarter. Oh no, it doesn't. Nope. It looks like they switched that up. I thought that transitioned into the second quarter, but it doesn't. So we're even playing. Uh, Mayumbo and Sotai on the net. Uh, Flores on the ball here. Looks like he might play it back to Edwards. Uh, and we're playing. Edwards has got the ball. Uh, plays it over to Crawford. Crawford, uh, the Grand Rapids native. Uh, also the Grand Rapids uh, Union boys JV coach. So good for him for giving back to the youth and, and coaching and using his skill and his knowledge to give back and love it. Mendez with the ball, Mendez plays it, goes forward, dispossessed, uh, wins it back. Flores on the ball, Mendez, Mendez, Mendez looking to go. We've got 21 on the side, that is Woodside. Crawford, Crawford plays it back, Woodside. Woodside looking to go, looks like there's a break, not a bad look. Shot by the risers. Job, uh, number nine, uh, an old, you said an old, an old potter, the old, uh, old riser Steve. player, right? Yep. Yeah, so the roots run deep with both of these teams here. Uh, Woodside with the ball. Uh, back to number 22, I believe, uh, Nagale. Uh, Nagale plays it in. Uh, Flores looks to flick it on. Uh, nobody home there. Oh, Job with the ball. Looks like it's won by number 23, O'Keefe. O'Keefe with the ball. O'Keefe looking to play simple. Uh, is that Woodside? Woodside again, O'Keefe. Yeah, that might be a foul there. Nothing nope, there. Nothing. Oh, uh -oh. That's the foul right there. Yep. 21's going to get booked here. A little bit extra, I think. Oh, no. He re ref reached for his he, pocket, didn't he? Yeah, it's out, right? It's yeah, there out. it is. There, there it is. Blue card. 21. Uh, I believe that's his second. Did he have the other one? Uh, Algabri? Algabri is... Uh, it looks like he's going to the bench. They might send somebody else to the, no. Nope. nope. <laughs> Sending him to the drink, man. The ref's bringing him there he's, himself. He's escorting him. He got a <laughs> private uh, private escort there to the, that's a two-minute penalty for the Cincinnati. Cincinnati's in their box on defense. Uh, you know, how do you beat this? How do you beat this? How do you beat this as a, an attacking team here? I'm passing around, you know, wait for that opportunity for that great shot. You have the possession. You know, they're not really looking to like really pressure you up top. They're going to let you pass. I see. I was going to say I see uh, Mendez in the middle. They're posting up right in the middle of the box. Is that something that uh, they practiced before? Is that something oh, that they try? Oh, they probably practiced that before. You know, use him as he's a great. Yeah, there he is. So if he's able to turn and 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 split those two back defenders in the middle there, um, that's probably votes very well for them, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. He's a great ball handler. He can do anything. Mendez, right there yeah, you, you can't give him that much time, huh? Great clearance there by Cincinnati. Cincinnati plays it out. Looks like the ball's going to go out of bounds. Crawford's going to be on the ball here. Uh, looks like it'll be Crawford to uh, Dutcher or O'Keefe. Is that Dutcher That's or O'Keefe? O'Keefe. O'Keefe with the ball. O'Keefe plays it in. Looks like, again, we don't have somebody in the middle there. Mendez, Mendez looks oh, to fire it in. Great shot. save by Cincinnati. Oh. 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 The scrum in front of the net. Couple shots there by the risers. Great pressure. Flores, Flores plays it to O'Keefe. O'Keefe on the top of the key. 
Looking to 19, 19 is uh, Knight. O'Keefe again looks to turn, puts it on his right foot. Knight, Knight in the corner. Knight back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe back to Crawford. 13, 35 seconds left. And a bit wishful there from Crawford on his left foot. Uh, clock stops. There's 30 seconds left on the power play. Uh, you need to get going here, right, if you're Muskegon for the oh, 30 definitely. seconds. Ball's going to be dumped in by um, Cincinnati. Cincinnati plays it in. Uh, Mayumbo plays it out quickly. Looks like they're transitioning oh. with speed. Speed and space. Here we go. O'Keefe. O'Keefe. They got numbers. Uh, Knight. Knight looks to play. Great save by the uh, Cincinnati Swerve goalkeeper there. Uh, looks to turn. turn. Knight. 15 seconds left on the power play. Knight looks to fire again. Oh. And he finds the back of the net. Goal! Adam Knight finds the corner of the net uh, for your Muskegon Risers, fourth goal. Uh, fourth goal scored by Knight. Score being four to two. Uh, Muskegon Risers over the Cincinnati Swerve. Uh, Kyle, what, what do we see there on that goal? Oh, we see, I mean, Knight took a great shot before that one. Uh, you know, he really wanted that goal. Like he, yeah, I, yeah, he uh, he didn't give up, did he? No, he did not. Didn't that the, the break of dispossessed there by Cincinnati? Cincinnati plays it back. A uh, little high pressure there from the uh, risers. Risers uh, swerve plays it in. Uh, Matt Schmidt, or Michael Schmidt, plays it out. Ball played in. We've got Potts on the coverage here. Goalkeeper plays it off the boards. Looks like this should be eaten up real quick. If they go quick, risers have an advantage. Oh, bit dispossessed there by Potts. Potts, oh, great defense by Dinsmore. Yeah, what a what a great defensive effort there by Dinsmore, huh? Ball played out. Cincinnati with the ball. We've got uh, 11 minutes. Oh, looks like uh, 11 minutes to play. Uh, Muskegon's ball. Uh, we've got Edwards on the ball. Edwards to Dutcher. Dutcher, Dutcher plays in. This should be an easy contest oh. here. Oh, out. Yeah, yeah might as well. That's not a bad look there um, from Potts. Ball played in from Cincinnati. Cincinnati, what a great layoff. Unlucky there on the strike. Again, 21, who's found himself in the booking box a couple times here. Um, Flores, Flores shakes somebody off ah, oh, from behind. No. Ooh, bit of an advantage is what Coco was saying. Uh, but I don't think you mind the foul there at all. No. <coughs> Kyle, what are we seeing? Our Muskegon's getting that possession back right now. Um, Seen a little bit more pressure from Cincinnati, though. Yeah, they look like they got a little fire in them, don't they? Yeah. We've got Dinsmore on the ball, I believe. Dinsmore looking. He's past that third line, or that third line. Coco gets body off the ball. Hey, don't blame him there. Um, no, that's, that's going to be a foul on you, my son. Uh, but what can you do? He was fighting. Again, you're the leading goal scorer in the league. You're going to find a body on you at all times. Goalkeeper from Cincinnati rolls it out. Uh, looks in deep on the right, number 21. Oh, great pass. That is Al Algebri. Played out by Flores. Flores there looks to go. Now great. this is why it makes him a most dynamic player in the league here. Oh, what a great ball. Mendez. Mendez looking to go. If he slows it down, uh, why not have a hit? Oh. Flores, Flores has a hit on his left foot. Back oh, up. Pass. Wow. He bounced up, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think there was any chance for him to get that down, ball. He was sitting down, heading that ball out. Muskegon's ball here. Looks like they're making a switch here. Crawford comes in. Uh, we've got uh, Dutcher out. Schmidt back in. Schmidt looking deep to Flores. Flores with the ball. Um, Flores looking to take a 1v1. Ball played by number 11. 11 back to uh, for Cincinnati here. Uh, Cincinnati looking to counter on the far side. Number 21. And he's been uh, he's been kind of a thorn. There's probably a foul there again. Yep. Uh, yeah, a little frustration there from the Cincinnati swerve. Uh, Schmidt playing to Crawford. Crawford uh, looking over to O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Schmidt. Schmidt looking deep uh, for Potts, I believe. Nope, that's uh, Knight. Knight with the ball. Knight to Schmidt. Schmidt to Dinsmore. 
Dinsmore back to Schmidt. Schmidt at the top of the key there to Crawford. Crawford on the right side, back to Schmidt. Uh, Schmidt just looking to play and a little bit dispossessed there. Got to be a little bit quicker than that. Uh, Good we've, defense on the back. What, what do you got? Uh, O'Keefe here. O'Keefe. Man, what a quick transition he has there. Dinsmore. Dinsmore, number four for the risers. Crawford looks to O'Keefe reset. Looks to reset. Uh, looks like risers are looking to reset here. They got Knight wide open on the other side. Uh, Dinsmore, Dinsmore. Again, a shift change right now. Why is uh, why is Muskegon not looking to to press pressure that much on the attacking end? What do you think the the point is? That they're not looking to go that quick. I don't know about that one. They're just, they're, they slow down quite a bit, and it's not working out in their favor yeah. right now. Two v two, three v two, going forward. Uh oh, number four. Oh, what a save. great save by Mayumbo. What a oh, great save by Mayumbo. Save. An absolute oh, two, two staves there that were just critical. Oh, good. Uh, we got the Cincinnati with the ball uh, entering their attacking third in their attacking third now. Uh, Edwards on the defense for the risers. Crawford looks like he's going to the bottle uh, over his body. Uh, draws the foul there. Crawford back to Edwards. Edwards with the ball. A lot of composure. Looks like uh, risers are making a line switch. Looks like they can catch somebody off guard here. Uh, they got Knight posted up in the center. Crawford uh, off to uh, Mendez. Mendez challenges the ball. Oh, great feet work. Yes. Oh, uh, amazing feet work. That's great technical ability there. Oh, he's wide open. Turn. Yes, turn and go. Have, why go. not have one? Oh, another oh, good turn. Oh, oh, sir. Yeah, why not? Um, it's a great one-on-one -on -one challenge there from Mendez. Uh, I hope he's all right. Might be a little bit of gamesmanship here, but uh, he drew the foul that he needed to, which is, uh, I, you know, Ben Ritzma's looking, why not? Th why is there not a foul? That was a 1v1 to net, and uh, you can't disagree with him there. No. What are you thinking? If you are the, uh, if you are the official there, what, that's got to be a card, right? You would think so. Yeah. They might be talking about it right here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they might be talking about it. Yeah, it was a 1v1 to net. Usually those are the danger most dangerous. Uh, we're going to take a media timeout now uh, at the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, we'll be back with you in a second. You have a lot of choices when it comes to insurance companies, so let me help you narrow them down. Hi, I'm Jenna Potts, your local Farm Bureau insurance specialist with the Durga Insurance Group. We are a company dedicated to serving only Michigan. We know you, we understand you, we protect you. All of us at the Durga Insurance Group live and work right in this area, so we're always nearby. Local agent, local service, and local savings. Come and see us today or visit our website, durgainsurancegroup.com, hey, to find Catchmark out more. Offers digital media services. Catchmark Web Services offers website and media content to help grow your business. Our web service team can help you design, develop, and implement custom websites that are search engine optimized. We also produce videos and media presentations that engage and communicate with your target audiences. We define, develop, and execute the most efficient plan to reach your audience. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall. All right, welcome back to the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, it is Dylan Darga here with uh, my partner, Kyle Skodak. We've got Billy Mann as the producer, Jesse King on production, and Lee Andrews as the Mercy Health Arena uh, announcer uh, for the game. Uh, we've got a 4-2 to two game here. Uh, risers up 4-2. to two. Uh, Risers with the ball, and they're attacking third going at Cincinnati. Uh, you know, we just left off, and uh, Mendez went down, and uh, there was no card showing. Ben Ritzma really thought that there should have been something. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, he went down pretty hard. He beat the guy 1v1, and it was, it was just him in the goal. Yeah. I, I, you know, I thought it was a little bit of gamesmanship, but uh, a foul deserving. But, you know, after looking at it again, I think that probably could have been carded. All right, again, a shot. Are we looking for a great ball in by Schmidt? Looking for that redirection. You better get back now. Uh, Cincinnati coming with some speed. Knight on the ball. Knight, wow, well played, well defended here. We got a 3v3 if we can go quick on this other side. Knight brings that's it in, foul. and that's a foul. That's two in a row. Great draw there by Knight. What a beautiful takeaway from the from the risers there and, and going in. Knight's going to check himself out. 
Uh, well, well deserved shift there. We got Schmidt playing in. Uh, back to uh, Dutcher. Dutcher. Dutcher, Dutcher plays pass. it in to number two, Spees. Spees plays it wall. off the wall. Schmidt. Oh. oh, he was there. Not a bad look. Uh, Dutcher. Dutcher with the ball at the top of the key. Looks like the risers Couple are making a in. switch. We got Edwards popping in. Um, Edwards with the ball on the right side. Edwards plays it back to Dutcher. Dutcher. Dutcher on the left side here. In for is that Woodside. Woodside. A uh, little dispossessed. 11. Uh, Potts. Potts plays it into. Oh, Edwards. Shot. Edwards, great shot. Edwards can't weigh 120 pounds, can he? <laughs> no. But he, he plays oh, he man. plays a bit like he's 180. And I love that. I love that. He's uh he's doing a great job. Has he has he gained any more weights in I, high school? I don't think he's gained any weights. No, any muscle been. you think? Uh, he's got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Good for him. He's playing a lot bigger than what uh, his stature is. I love it. Uh, all played in by Edwards. Edwards plays it out here to Dutcher. Dutcher plays it across to Crawford. Crawford back to Edwards. Edwards looking for something up top. Crawford uh, possessed very well. Great ball in. It's going to be off the boards. Off the boards to the keeper from Cincinnati. Cincinnati looks to play strong and quick. Uh, Crawford back in. Plays it back to his keeper. Mayumbo. Mayumbo looking in. Uh, bit dispossessed here. Uh, Woods side to 11 that is pot Crawford number 22 for Cincinnati looks to play it back eight our goal scorer a gel uh, 28 to 8 8 a gel looking for somebody up top it's not looking to just play a ball in uh, good dummy run there by 22 you got great possession by Cincinnati. Yeah, right oh, they're good. very, nice very composed right now. We got about five minutes left in the second quarter right before halftime. We got Crawford. Crawford looking to go forward. Uh, not a lot of space there. Don't blame great him, though. Uh, oh, good ball played in. Right Woodside. Oh, hey, oh, why not? Oh, nice Keep her out of position. That was that some that might be something that makes Sports Center there. Yeah. Uh, Crawford. Crawford looking to challenge. You got 21 on the ball. That is Algoro. Algoro looks at the fancy dancing, looks to shoot, easy. and easy mopped up there by Mayumbo. Mayumbo plays it out to Crawford. Crawford out to number 22, uh, Nugali. Nugali to Crawford. Crawford to Flores. Flores a little bit late on the touch. Number 20 here. We've got uh, Petri. Petri drug down. No call. As we go forward, it's a 2v2. It's a 3v2 if we go quick. We've got uh, Flores on the far side. Flores on the far side. Oh, great save by there by the Cincinnati keeper. Uh, number 23 with the ball still. O'Keefe, O'Keefe, O'Keefe to Schmidt. Schmidt, Schmidt plays Schmidt. the ball. Hey, why not? Off his, gets his off his oh, own re deflection. Schmidt, Schmidt to, uh, is that Dinsmore? Dinsmore plays it. Ah, oh, that was a weight room play right there. 27, 27. But uh, controlled here by Cincinnati. Looks like they're not in any hurry to get this ball forward, Kyle. No, they're not in any hurry. They're just kind of trying to take it slow, you know, trying to break up uh, Muskegon's uh, rhythm here. Got a ball played in, posted up, number 27. Uh, 2v1 Step here over. to net. Uh, Mayumbo should have no problem with that. Uh, Cincinnati player down McGillan. real quick. We've got Dinsmore, or no, Dutcher. we got Dutcher. Dutcher with the ball to Schmidt. O'Keefe on the other side. I get O'Keefe and Dutcher about mix. Up. They could be twins out there. Number two. Good dump. That is Spees. Good turn. Spees to, no. uh, to Coco. Coco, uh, not bad uh, play there from Dutcher. O'Keefe now with the ball. Dutcher. Possessed. Cincinnati's played really tight defense the second quarter here. Um, and I give them a lot of credit. They're staying composed. Um, there's not many quality looks from Muskegon. I think Muskegon's brought more opportunity. Oh, the fancy footwork there by Dutcher. Edwards is back door. And Dutcher, Dutcher. Oh, oh, oh Edwards is there. He knew it too. Sells out there and maybe he finds himself one, but yep. that's a tough one to see. Cincinnati looking to clear. Again, Muskegon's been the more composed team, correct, Kyle? I think so. I mean, they have had the more plentiful opportunities. Um, than Cincinnati, the, the game so far, but for this half, 
that's pretty even. Yeah, yeah, I agree. This has been uh, a fun half. Mayumbo's come up big. Cincinnati's keepers come up big. We got 11 with the ball. Potts, Potts with the ball. Back to uh, Dutcher. Dutcher to Mendez Pot is back in. Oh, here we go. Mendez right off the bench, right off from that uh, injury. Looks, I'll bet he takes somebody on one-on-one -on -one here. Flores, Flores looks to turn. turn. Yes! There it is. Goal! Yeah. Scoring his first for the night with the backflip and the exclamation point. Miguel Coco Flores assist Mendez. Uh, as a goal scorer, Kyle, like I know you were in your past, how big is that for Coco to get that goal there? Oh, it's great to get it off his back. I mean, you always want to get that first goal and help your team out as much as possible if he's a leading goal scorer. Um, the impact though Mendez had right when he came on to find him was great. Yeah, there wasn't 20 seconds still in his shift there and he found an assist there to, to Flores. And, uh, you know, as a goal scorer, I can imagine that, uh, that really hypes you up a little bit. Puts a little extra pep in your step. Crawford on the oh, defense. What a great, no, oh, oh. a bit, oh, <laughs> that's a bit unlucky from Crawford. Uh, that was played beautifully, I thought. Uh, two, two, it's a bit unlucky there. Uh, number two there uh, from Cincinnati. Uh, looks like they're playing it uh, out. Trying to play it quick. Trying to. Oh, yes. Number two, not on a roster, I don't see. Do you see a number two anywhere? Or is that 21 and his number fell off? That's uh, 21. Just gonna see the other oh, one. Yeah. Third, third foul. He's one. He's yeah, the one that he's got the uh, blue card already. It's consistent infringement there. Uh, Crawford with the ball. Crawford looks like he's gonna go long. A uh, little bit he bobbled through there. Mendez Mendez, 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 Mendez with the ball. Fancy. I mean, can you find somebody that has better technical footwork than him tonight? No, not on, not on this field. Great save by the Cincinnati keeper. Cincinnati keeper plays it down to 21. 21. Uh, Defended by Crawford. Looks like he's got a whole slew of risers on him. Uh, it's that night, night to Mendez. Mendez. Mendez again looking to play that 1v1. Looks, loses the ball, immediately gets back. I love it. Uh, shot wide by number 17 there from, uh, that's Mickelson. Mickelson uh, from Cincinnati looking to play it wide there from Crawford. Crawford, I don't know if that was oh. the best decision. Number eight who had the strike right. early on. Great defense by 22 there from our risers. There we go right As here. Nagali. Oh, great no, turn. There we go, 23 here. 23, this is. Uh, there we go. Okay, oh, goal! Colin O'Keefe. Great with find. our sixth goal Great of the find night. By my Yumbo, Great yes, find. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, take us through that goal there, Kyle. My Yumbo. Great pass on the throw. I just seen him keep up there by himself. Just you know, laid it out as much as he could. Keith with a great turn and bring it down. Yeah, at that point you're one v one versus goalkeeper. What are you looking to do? Shoot it far by. Yeah, find that ball in the back of the net. The old potato sack. Here we go. We got six two lead. Risers up six to two with one minute left remaining in your second quarter. Uh, looking to go forward. We've got Cincinnati who. You know, you're, you're four goals down, and we're only two quarters in. It looks like a little warning there for uh, number 11, or uh, 17, isn't it? No, it's Potts. Potts. 28. It'd be nice to get another exclamation uh, goal before half, but I think the risers have done a really good job. Oh, great ball there by Schmidt. Schmidt comes in, steps in on the defensive side. Dutcher with the ball, Dutcher. Dinsmore, Dinsmore, Dinsmore. Dinsmore to Dinsmore. Good save there by oh. Cincinnati. Oh, not the best. Bali. Oh, oh. again, that was a sports, banner, sports yep. center uh, uh, volley that he could have there. Dinsmore with the pressure, number 11 here. Potts, Potts oh, finds good. the ball. We've got 15 seconds left. Looks a little chippy over on the boards over there. Potts finds oh. his way through. Ball stop, clock stop. Advantage. 12 seconds left, Kyle. What are we looking to do for the Muskegon Risers? I mean, let's, you know, hopefully have something drawn up for uh, you know a quick play and we can get a quick goal here. Uh, so we got uh, O'Keefe, O'Keefe to, to Dutcher. Dutcher, I, we're gonna see some fancy footwork here. 
We got a five, four, three. Schmidt looking to post up. Uh, a bit unlucky. Good defense there by the Cincinnati Swerve uh, to not let the risers get another one before half. We are at six to two uh, at halftime. Uh, your Muskegon risers lead. Um, we will come back uh, in about 10 minutes uh, and we'll get it going. Kyle, anything before we leave for a uh, break? Great first half. I mean, all around team effort, six players, six different players that scored. Yeah, that's, uh, that's impressive. Uh, they've held Flores to one goal, but uh, it seems like everybody else is stepping up. So uh, good stuff from the risers. Uh, and we'll talk about what Cincinnati might need to do as we come back from the break. Uh, from your Mercy Health Arena, I am Dylan Darga with Kyle Skodak as uh, my other uh, partner here. Uh, Billy Mann is our producer, Jesse King Production, and Lee Andrews announcing from the Mercy Health Arena. We will be back in about 10 minutes. Van Dyke Mortgage, we, you know, we started uh, 1987, July of 1987, the company was founded here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We recruited Mario in to join our company as one of our uh, branches to serve the Muskegon community. Uh, he has grown to uh, five locations, uh, serving people up and down the lake shore. A lot of companies, they're sometimes in it more for themselves and closing that deal for just their monetary reward. And I think with Mario and his company, it's not just that. And I don't know if that always happens in our world. Hello, this is Dmitry, the Russian hacker. Please disregard the following message from Ketchmark Technologies. It will make my life easier. Thank you. If you own a business today, that business is exposed to digital risk. Data privacy, compliance, and of course, cyber attack risks are just a few that you may need to manage. If you don't have the staff or internal expertise to help mitigate the risks your organization faces, call Ketchmark Technologies at 616-384-4616. So once I started brewing, um, I fell in love with the industry, the people of the industry, um, and just how craft beer brings people together. The community has really uh, accepted us, and really we, we made this place to create our clubhouse pretty much where we want to hang out and we have the beers we want to drink and the stuff we want to do and we really hope that the community would just be of that same mindset and want to come here too and have fun and they sure have. <laughs> Connectivity is the glue that binds all digital solutions. Without connectivity, hardware becomes useless, software is inefficient, and smart solutions turn dumb. Alexa! The Catchmark Connectivity Service Team are experts at delivering the dynamic solutions and connectivity that businesses need. Whether your business needs structured cabling, networking, or connected solutions such as digital audio and video camera systems, Catchmark can get you connected. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall. 
You have a lot of choices when it comes to insurance companies, so let me help you narrow them down. Hi, I'm Jenna Potts, your local Farm Bureau insurance specialist with the Durga Insurance Group. We are a company dedicated to serving only Michigan. We know you, we understand you, we protect you. All of us at the Durga Insurance Group live and work right in this area, so we're always nearby. Local agent, local service, and local savings. Come and see us today or visit our website, durgainsurancegroup.com, to find out more. Hi, West Michigan. I'm David Dusenberry, and I'm your real estate advisor. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house, now is the time. The market is hot. Give me a call. We'll set something up and figure out what's best for you. 231-670-6253. Psst, hey, did you hear? Catchmark offers digital media services. Catchmark Web Services offers website and media content to help grow your business. Our web service team can help you design, develop, and implement custom websites that are search engine optimized. We also produce videos and media presentations that engage and communicate with your target audiences. We define, develop, and execute the most efficient plan to reach your audience. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall. down at least yeah all right welcome back to the mercy health arena uh on this beautiful february 19th night uh as we watch our muskegon risers play the cincinnati swerve score being six to two um we've got a a very loud and boisterous crowd as we just walked out on halftime um to see all the kids and the spectators walking around uh which is great to see uh, so far uh, tonight, we've got uh, myself, Dylan Darga, on the call with Kyle Skodak. Uh, Billy Mann is our producer, Jesse King in production, and Lee Andrews is our announcer here in the uh, Mercy Health Arena. Um, Kyle, well, I mean, what's your impression so far? Let's start with the risers. What, uh, what do you see so far that, uh, you know, they're doing well? What, is, what do they need to improve on? What, what's going to happen the second half? I mean, you're seeing great energy from the risers right now. Um, they're leading in shots 23 to 12. I kind of would like to see a little bit more quality shots on that. Um, I don't think we really tested their goalkeeper yet compared to, you know, past games. Yeah. Um, my own was playing good. He's made, you know, three or four really good saves, uh, a couple good kick saves. Um, yeah, what about that assist that he had on that last goal? That was great. That throw was awesome played it out perfectly to O'Keefe. Like, couldn't ask for any be a better throw than turn. Um, I mean, six different players scoring, and, you know, this is a team effort, and they're showing it, they're, they're playing as a team tonight. There's no um, my, my, mine 
Yeah, I want to do it all by myself. I think uh, that's a very impressive stat that Bren Richmond is crew needs to look at is that uh, you have six different goal scorers in this game. You've held again another team to two goals at halftime, and the last time they did this at home, that was it. Like they did not let another goal go in. Um, you know that shows that you're disciplined on defense. It shows that you're defen- uh, disciplined in the midfield, uh, and that your, your your players are getting back and helping out. And uh, you know that you give credit to the risers, right? So so flip that script now. And I know we don't like to talk a lot about the opposing team, but if you're Cincinnati's coach and you're in the locker room right now, uh, and you're six hours, seven hours away from home, uh, you're down four goals. What are you saying to your lads as uh, we get going forward? Turnovers. Too many turnovers off the first touch. Uh, we got to get better possessing the ball from the turnover. Um, going forward as well, I mean, they've only had two two or three guys, not even three guys going forward. It's just two guys going forward. Yeah. Their first two goals were, you know, a penalty kick and one guy hitting a worldly on us. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, both those goals were, uh, you know, that, that penalty kick and then an absolute stunner of a goal uh, that was scored. But... Um, you know, so how much of that is, uh, you know, like you might just not get there today? And how much of that is you need to adjust? You know, I, the adjustments there, you've seen that sometimes they're, they're possessing really well and other times they're just, they seem very unorganized as a team. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, it's going to be an interesting second half here uh, at the Mercy Health Arena. Um you know, with the we stated earlier at the uh, with the women's game, you know this is a bigger bigger field, a bigger uh, area of space for these uh, players to be playing than what they're probably normally used to playing. Uh, people love coming to Muskegon because of the atmosphere, uh, but playing here might be a little bit tough from the opposing team because it is so large and it is not like what you train. Um, you know, do you think fitness and uh, you know, that will play into this? Oh, definitely. Uh, even with uh, Cincinnati's roster size compared to Muskegon's roster size. Good point. Um, I think if Muskegon really keeps up this pace, they're just going to wear out um, Cincinnati with those deep runs. Yeah. Um, even just the speed of the game itself, I think Cincinnati is going to wear themselves out if they don't possess enough. Yeah, so if you are Cincinnati, um, you probably want to possess, you want to build up, you want to... Uh, kind of take a commanding lead of the pace of play. But if you're Muskegon Risers, you want to get a quick one here, don't you? Oh, get a couple quick ones, and this game is over. Yeah, this message is that you're, you're, you're you know, by the, th- the end of the third, you're heading back to Cincinnati already. Yep. And uh, I think uh, I think you got it correct there. Um, this is going to be an interesting second half. Uh, again, Muskegon needs this game to uh, lock that second seed up um, and potentially get a home game uh, as you touched on Kyle earlier about what home field advantage has in this league. Oh, it's huge. Uh, if you look at all the records of every team in the league, I mean, most, mostly everybody's un- undefeated at home except for, you know, a few games. Yep. Uh, you know, Muskegon's lone loss to Cleveland. Yeah, they've got a couple losses to Cleveland, but they've been, uh, they've been close on a few of them. Yep. They lost to Chicago as well, but then avenged that loss, and uh, I think they they went to Chicago, uh, or they they beat Chicago two out of three. So um, that kind of puts them in the front runner for that second seed. So head to head, yeah, yeah, we got players coming out from both teams. It looks like everybody's getting loosened up here. Um, we got about uh, two minutes left. Uh, we will start up. Um, you know, anything else that you you see about? Uh, about what we're seeing today, or any any other comments, Kyle? We're seeing good soccer in Muskegon. It's, it's nice to see. Yeah, you know, from, from the girls to the boys, it's it's really nice to see that the quality soccer in Muskegon is really improving. And, yeah, you know, all these kids have something to look forward to growing up. And yeah, hey, I could actually be out there one day. You know, this could be me. I know as a youngster, I didn't come into this arena ever thinking that there would be indoor soccer here, and. Uh, you know, I think we owe a lot of that to Mr. Matt Schmidt, the owner uh, of the Muskegon Risers and the person that brought this forefront uh, to Muskegon. Um, we are here at the largest city on the eastern shore of Lake Michigan, Muskegon, Michigan. Um, 
And, you know, again, we are playing indoor soccer on February 19th um, in West Michigan in 2022. And uh, we've got a lot of people out here. We've got a lot of kids. Uh, this is great to see. This is great. Just like the girls game, this is, this is wonderful to see. Great atmosphere. Lots of fans. Couldn't ask for anything else better. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you got Rad Dad's tacos in the corner there. Grab a bite to eat. You can grab something to drink on. Um, you know, you got food and vendors all through the stadium. Um, you know, what better what better place? You know, I, I've got young kids just like you, and you know, I would, I'd have no problem bringing them here. And and a lot of family funs being had tonight. That's right. Um, you think uh, keeper switch is in mind for uh, for Cincinnati? I know that they've got looks like a veteran keeper in, and he's done a pretty great job. I'm not gonna lie; he's he's done a lot better than what uh, his age does yeah. not tell what he can do. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's doing a great job, and uh, you know, with building out of the back, you know, a bit unfortunate at times, but um, you know, is any necessary switches for uh, either team? Um, no, I think everybody you know is gonna stay the same. Uh, I think maybe if Muskegon does build a lead, we might see uh, Vollmer come in. Okay. The, okay. Ve the veteran. The savvy veteran Vollmer coming in. The, almost like the the Voyager. He's 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 been around. He's played. He's he's got a lot of experience. It looks like uh, Cincinnati's going to keep their keeper. Uh, uh, last name is uh, 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 Soltice or Soltil? Soltile. Um, and we're going to go from there. It looks like Cincinnati's going to work from right to left. Uh, Muskegon Riser is going to left to right. Cincinnati with the ball. We're going to play it back. Uh, Flores on it quickly. Uh, ball played in. Crawford cleans it up nicely, but a bit out of bounds. Uh, Cincinnati looking to play it quick. Uh, I don't know what the... Oh, yep. Uh, ball cleared. Uh, it's going to be played up top. Um, again... Looking to have a strike or misdirection here? I, I think we're going to strike. This guy already hit a worldie today. He, he's the one that had the, the great goal earlier. Oh. Looks like a misdirection. Ball played in. Uh, read well by Mayumbo. Flores on the chase. Flores on the chase. Uh, speed. Back to the goalkeeper. Uh-oh. That goes out. That's going to be good for Muskegon. Ball played in. Mendez trailing. Uh, we got Edwards on the play. Again, they got Edwards in the back, and again, he's not hes not a big kid, but he has held himself back there, hasn't he? He holds himself really well. He's not afraid to get in there and fight fight for the ball. And good for him, right? It just shows you that, that perception of size in this country. Like, you don't have to be six foot, 195 to play college soccer or, or be successful at it. This is a game that sees a lot of different shapes and sizes. Good possession there by uh, Cincinnati O'Keefe. We got a 2v1 if we go quick. Yeah, it might look, oh, maybe be a little selfish there, huh? Yeah. Good save, though. Good good look by Cincinnati. Uh, Dinsmore on the chase uh, on number 11 here. That is uh, Alvarado. Alvarado down. I'm trying to sell that one. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't know if there's a lot there. Uh, Mayumbo might be called here for the ball out of bounds. Ball was played on the ground first, so it'll be played where we are at right now. Uh, ball played across by Cincinnati. Cincinnati with the ball going forward uh, from right to left. Ball played across to 20. That is uh, Petri. Petri with the ball played in. Uh, Crawford with the, with the great defense there. Uh, looks like Flores is going to apply token pressure. Crawford again. That's got to be a handball. Didn't call it. Um, and we're playing O'Keefe again. Strong. Well done. Uh, got the hold. By the Buffalo State player uh, from Buffalo, New York. Got to imagine the weather there is a lot like the 12 degree weather that we're seeing tonight here in Muskegon. So, ball played in to number two here for the risers at Spees. Spees with the foul, it looks like, or it looks like it was out of bounds. Cincinnati plays it in. Crawford on the chase. Crawford, Crawford, Crawford. Looks like he's going to go to Mayumbo. Mayumbo cleans it up nicely. Uh, might look to play it easy here to 19. That is Knight. Knight dispossessed. Uh-oh. 
Again, looks like everyone's trying to find the rhythm as they come back on uh, from halftime. Ball played across to 11. Pot, or that's uh, Potts on the defense. Um, Knight chasing down. Uh, we have 21 who's had a, uh, oh, again, yeah, another uh, great, great battle there by 21. Shot wide to the right. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be, oh, it, ref looked like he was going to look, uh, issue that blue card. It almost could have been. That was a pretty vicious foul on the boards there. Uh, Schmidt with the ball. Uh, is that, uh, what is that, Dutcher on the other side? Yep. D Dutcher. We got Mendez. Mendez over to Knight. 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 Knight looking in, looking to go into Woodside. Woodside, what a ball. Nobody home, though. Uh, Dutcher on the chase with Knight. Uh, looks like Cincinnati's just going to get rid of it. Mendez. Mendez looks to go quickly. There's somebody in the middle. There's Knight. Knight. Knight's got to have a first touch, though. That's about all he could do with it, though. Ah, great save oh, if save. he got a piece on that. Well done by Woodside. Woodside again. Uh, Schmidt. Schmidt back out to Woodside. Woodside plays it back to Knight. Knight plays that 1v1. Woodside. Oh, good the touch, touch board. Got Schmidt. Schmidt. Uh, uh, I don't think he got everything that he wanted on that one. Schmidt looking to go back. Um, not a bad break up there from Woodside. Woodside plays it forward. Turn. What a great ball. Mendez, 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 Mendez. Oh. Oh. Even better save. Oh, good saves. What a great save by the keeper from Cincinnati. Oh, oh. It, I would love to see that again. That rollover by Mendez. I don't, I mean, I was shooking out of my boots from up here. Good for him. Those two quality saves by the, the Soul Tile from uh, Cincinnati. Looks like he's a little shaken yeah, up by that. Just a little bit. I think I would be too. Ball up top by Mendez. Mendez got uh, Dutcher on the side. Uh, he's got Woodside down deep. Uh, ball deflected side. off of Cincinnati. Uh, we've got Knight on the ball. Woodside. Edwards. 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 Oh, Edwards ah! got Here we go. The Orchard View Cardinal finds himself the seventh goal. Is that our seventh player? Seventh, seventh player, seven. Seventh player, seven goals for the Muskegon Risers. And, and, you know, did exactly what he needed to do with that opportunity. Left foot, found it. Uh, you know, his window of opportunity was there, and he took it. Right, Kyle? It was. Coach Ritzma's happy with that one. Yes. Why not? Good for him. Again, the defenseman comes up big. We got a five-goal lead. Uh, third quarter here. Uh, looks like the risers are going quick. That is Ngalu. Ngalu back to Crawford. Crawford plays it. Oh, looking play it quick. This Dinsmore, Dinsmore. O'Keefe. O'Keefe plays it simple. Crawford. Again, the high school uh, JV coach at Grand Rapids Union. Coaches with, uh, gosh, what's the name of the varsity coach there? Can't remember. Oh. Juan Vizala. Oh, this kid plays Great. for Colorado. Yes. Uh, number 13, a little bit dispossessed by Merker. Uh, I wish he had that one back. Uh, it's going to be Cincinnati's ball at about midfield. Uh, plays it in. Uh, 27, uh, defended by Schmidt. Schmidt plays him tough, uh, looking to go back. Uh, everything that Cincinnati does is met by at least oh, two or three uh, risers, defenders. How does that make it tough? Oh, that makes it frustrating for the other team. And they play it out so well, too. They're yeah, look at this. So look at well. this transition. That's exactly what you do. We got uh, Spees. Spees back to Merker. Merker back, looks across to Dutcher. Uh, Dutcher. Dutcher. Space. Dutcher's got plenty of space. Looks like he's going to go 1v1. Why oh, not? Great step over. When you look like that, why not? Oh, oh just high. Bit high there. Bit high. I wish he had that one back. Dutcher created a lot of that. Uh, transition here by Cincinnati. Cincinnati looking number 11. Again, same fancy footwork. I like it. Looking to go 1v1 again, met by a slew gotcha. of uh, risers. We got risers, got a 3v2 if they go quick. Uh, you're on Spees on the side. You got uh, 11, that is Potts. Keep, keep her out. Potts, keep, keep her out. out. Flores. Flores with a goal. Goal! 
Miguel Coco Flores, and we have our first double up on a goal. Eight goals, seven different goal scorers. Flores continues his hot streak of leading the conference or the, the league in goals. 21st on the season. 21 on the season. Uh, how important is that to have a, a goal scorer like that? Oh, it's, it's awesome. We've got a six-goal leader. It's 8-2 to two, uh, with about nine minutes left in the third. Uh, your Muskegon Risers with eight. Cincinnati with two. Uh, Mayumbo comes out. A little bit dangerous play, but he's able to possess. 19, Knight. Knight met by a slew of uh, defenders from uh, Cincinnati. Number four, Slippery. Slippery uh, doesn't find any success at the end. Number four there, that is Washington. Washington. Oh, Mayumbo. Nice. Edwards. Nice Edwards plays it out to Knight. Knight back to Edwards. Edwards looking for something up top. Mayumbo plays it back. Uh, we've got Mayumbo just gets rid and Mendez. Oh, great turn what a great Mendes. turn. Mendez going to goal. Mendez 1v1 if he goes quick, if he goes quick, if he goes quick. Great feet. Looking great shot feet. and goal! Aldone Mendez with your ninth Muskegon risers goal. When you get space like that and you are a player like Aldoni Mendez, Kyle, oh, what man, do you, you do? You score goals. Yes. That's uh, it's an easy thing. And uh, there wasn't a lot that uh, Cincinnati could do. Uh, looks like the... Uh, special player. Yeah, the yeah, very special player. Looks like the... Oh, we've got a yellow card coming in from uh, the referee on the sideline here. Uh, from Cincinnati. He's telling this keeper to go back. It looks like we're in a break real quick. Uh, we will be back in a second with eight minutes and 41 seconds left. So once I started brewing, um, I fell in love with the industry, the people of the industry, um, and just how craft beer brings people together. The community has really uh, accepted us, and really we, we made this place to create our clubhouse pretty much where we want to hang out and we have the beers we want to drink and the stuff we want to do and we really hope that the community would just be of that same mindset and want to come here too and have fun and they sure have <laughs> Psst. Hey, did you hear? Catchmark offers digital media services. Catchmark Web Services offers website and media content to help grow your business. Our web service team can help you design, develop, and implement custom websites that are search engine optimized. We also produce videos and media presentations that engage and communicate with your target audiences. We define, develop, and execute the most efficient plan to reach your audience. Shoot us a call at 616-384-4616, visit our website at catchmarkit.com, or stop into one of our offices in Grand Rapids or Whitehall. Back at the Mercy Health Arena, 8 minutes and 41 seconds left. Your risers are leading 9-2 to two, uh, with that goal from Mendez there on that 1v1. Uh, before we left for break, uh, the, it looked like there was a yellow card issued for Cincinnati's goalkeeper. Not really sure what happened. Um, he's still in the game. Um, looks like there's some... Uh, there's some talking. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, it doesn't look like either team is uh, low on numbers. Uh, so it looks like we will start uh, this quarter uh, at 9-2. to uh, Risers in a commanding lead. Kyle? Yeah, uh, the great pressure coming from the Risers this, these last, what, three minutes? Yeah. They really put it on. You know, some great bounces have gone our way also. But I think their keepers made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I, I agree. That was uh, the risers are really applying that pressure. And again, when you're not sure of what you're going to do with the ball and you've got to second guess it, uh, that makes it a whirlwind of difference for, um, you know, the, the risers. It looks like they are throwing somebody in the box. Um, looks like it's a reserve player. The goalkeeper stays in for Cincinnati. Uh, 21 on the ball. Uh, that's uh, Aglaro uh, plays it back uh, to number eight. Eight plays it in. Uh, Woodside plays it out. Good clearance there. Uh, possessed by Cincinnati. Cincinnati looks to go play it up top. Play it back, actually. Um, it's met by uh, O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks like to run this down. Man, he is quick. 
I'm getting tired of watching him up here. Oh, great turn. 13, Merker. Merker looks to go quick. O'Keefe, O'Keefe on the ball. Great touch. From Buffalo. Oh, well, great save. save. What a save by uh, Soltai, or Soltal. That is a beautiful save. You got to give credit to that. Have a shot here by, uh, way to keep it low. Another great shot. Uh, a bit much there by Woodside. So it'll be uh, Cincinnati's ball working from right to left. Uh, Muskegon Risers nine to two. You know, if you're Cincinnati, Kyle, we talked about this at halftime. Is there anything you need to change? Anything you need to do to get back in this? Man, they just, they need to score some goals. Oh, oh. That's, a, that's a mental error right there by Bad turnovers. Yeah. Bad touches are leading to their demise right now. Yeah. They, my own boat just probably wants a chair back there because I think he's pretty bored. Yeah. He's had uh he's had a quiet half, hasn't he? Dutcher great shot down. here, Dutcher. Unlucky there. Great uh it's a two v two if Cincinnati goes three v two if they go quick. There you go. Uh oh. What a great turn back by twenty one. Great block yeah. there by Schmidt. Dutcher. Dutcher to Densmore. Is that Dinsmore? No, it's no. uh, uh oh, Potts. Potts. We got Sh Schmidt on the ball here. Good ball played in by Cincinnati. Ball played on the boards. Dinsmore. We got Dutcher. Oh, we got a handball somewhere. Handball in Cincinnati. Referee's got to touch it. Looks like he might play it out to Mayumbo. Uh, out to uh, Dutcher. Dutcher to Edwards. Edwards plays it forward to uh, Flores. Flores about does all he can do with that ball right there. Uh, ball played in from Cincinnati. Cincinnati uh, met by, ooh, that's going to be a card on Edwards. Uh, I, yeah, it's a hard challenge, but uh, probably be deserving. Probably be deserving of that one. It's unlucky. Uh, you know, it wasn't dirty. It wasn't malicious. Uh, Edwards is going to find himself with two minutes. Uh, it's a hard hit. Let's see what Coach Ritzma does here. I can imagine he's going to box it up just like Cincinnati does. Um, let's see here. Yep, looks like it's uh, Crawford, Schmidt, uh, O'Keefe. And who do we got? Is that uh, 11? Is that uh, Potts? Got that. Uh, no, 22. 22. That is uh, Nugalu, the MCC player. Yep. From France, Paris, France. What do you think he thinks of Muskegon right now? <laughs> That's good. Oh. Good kill there. Oh, maybe shorthanded here. O'Keefe. O'Keefe's chasing it down. Stay with the pressure. Yeah, why not? Great ball by the keeper from the swerve. We've got six and a half minutes left uh, in our third quarter here. Uh, penalty killing. We haven't had to talk about it from Muskegon. What do, what do we need to do here? I think we can get possession out of the back and just dump her down. I think we'll be okay. Same thing like what you do in hockey? Oh, yeah. Get it in deep. Yeah, I know that there are penalties for that, but uh, it looks like uh, Muskegon's got it figured out. Uh, wide here. You know, they stay pretty compact, don't they? Nope. That's going to be out on... Uh, Muskegon ball. Yeah, Muskegon ball. Why not? Uh, looks like uh, O'Keefe's out. Uh, Spees is in. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. So shorthanded goal. Why not? And goal! Henry Spees, the Muskegon Community College player from Grand Rapids, Michigan. That is our what? That's our uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth goal scorer out of ten goals. They are sharing the wealth, aren't they, Kyle? Everybody's playing great tonight. I mean, just the recognition of catching Cincinnati off guard right there, recognizing them that yeah. they're out of position and playing that quick ball was great. I mean, they're still shorthanded. That's the funny thing is they short score with four and, uh, you know, you're going to spend another 41 seconds uh, being shorthanded. But what a, uh, a great post up there from the – oh, uh, that was a great goal. Yeah, great pass. goal there from – that Joe? Joe pass that in? Uh, the no, old number deflect, nine, number nine though, had it in. deflected it in. We have 22. 22. Uh, that Eric is Moser. Moser with the goal. 
something you probably practice there if you're Cincinnati. Uh, everybody back to full strength now. We've got five minutes, 39 seconds. Uh, Muskegon Risers working from left to right. Uh, we've got Dinsmore on the ball. Edwards, Edwards plays it to Dinsmore. Dinsmore That's met by, uh, yeah, very dangerous play, especially not on his lead foot. Uh, <coughs> Myumbo should have an easy ball here. Looks like he plays it out to uh, Dutcher, Dutcher. Dutcher. His step overs are just really good. Absolute knives. They are they cut everybody up, don't they? Flores. Flores he just has one speed, doesn't he? And it is go. Good. We got eleven on the ball. Potts. Potts plays it in. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be met by a foul for sure. Uh Dutcher draws a foul. I like it. Cincinnati may not like that foul, but that, uh, you know, you put somebody on the ground like that, that might be uh, an easy one there. Dinsmore on the ball. Uh, Nugale, I believe, is on the ball here. Yes. Nugale, Ngale, Dinsmore, Ngale. Looks like Flores looking to check to the ball. Flores with the ball. Oh, again, a little bit forced there. Sometimes when you have too much time, right, it can't be a good thing. We got Dinsmore on the ball. He can turn and go. He can turn and go. Yeah, He's got time. Mendez. Look at checking in middle like he should. Well done from our striker. Players surrounding him. Yep. Crawford in the back. Ngale. Crawford. Crawford in the back. Takes his time. Looks around. Mendez. Mendez, Mendez looking. Spees, I believe. Back to Mendez. Mendez again. Muskegon Risers, do you think they, uh, they're they looking to go? I think they're still going. I mean, still third period. Seven goal lead going in third period. You got about three minutes and 45 seconds left. Crawford, Mendez, Spees. Possessed just a little bit more now. Spees oh. looks to have a hit. Why not? Just wide. Yep, Flores Flores rolls it down. Nice heel flick back to in the corner. Uh, met by a Cincinnati defender, Crawford. Crawford to Mendez. Mendez met by two Cincinnati players. Stripped of the ball. Uh, 22, our goal scorer that just a second ago. Uh, looks to play it back. We've got O'Keefe on the ball. Yeah, not much going to happen there. Mayumbo gobbles it up. Mayumbo. Deep threat down O'Keefe with the ball. Great first touch. Beautiful first touch. A lesser of a player would have ran that into the boards, right, Kyle? Oh, yes. We've got O'Keefe. O'Keefe with the ball looking, trying to find something. Crawford. Crawford to Woodside. Woodside. You got Coco sneaking on the backside right Woodside. now. Woodside. Woodside all alone. Yeah, a little bit high there on the shot. Don't mind it, though. Again, O'Keefe. O'Keefe. O'Keefe on the far side here looking to play it in. Takes that 1v1 opportunity. We got Flores. Flores in the deep end. Might be played off the boards here. Got to imagine he's looking to link up with somebody. O'Keefe, O'Keefe. Uh, down Woodside. Woodside to Crawford. Crawford patiently waiting something to build up here. Uh, holds off his defender. Loses the ball. Yes, great win by uh, O'Keefe there. Skeeking at the shape back right now. So explain to our viewers right now, Kyle, this, you know, a lot of people might be thinking, man, this is pretty boring. Like, these people are just dribbling the ball, they're possessing, there's not a lot of action, but, like, what actually is happening here? You're seeing a lot of possession, just holding the ball, keeping your lead, making sure you're not, you're going to get quality shots. You're also keeping your players a little bit more safe. They're not in dangerous positions. Um, and you're seeing... Like just quality soccer. Yeah, it's a pretty quality possession there from the risers and Ben Ritzman and his squad. Uh, you know, like, why go for your seven goal lead? Don't force anything forward. Uh, usually, when that happens, uh, is when mistakes happen, right? Yep. Edwards on the defense here, met by uh, Dinsmore, or no, Dutcher. Oh. Dutcher and Edwards. No call. Referee says, no, thank you. We will continue on. Edwards, Edwards out to Mayumbo. Mayumbo. We got the riser sandwich. Yes. Oh, what a cheeky touch by Pot or uh, Pot or was that? Uh, 19 Knight, the Davenport. 
product of Wakefield, England. That's what I love about, uh, you know, seeing some of these international players come in. And, you know, I, you always wonder, like, what do they think of Muskegon, Michigan right now, you know? Uh, number 11 here, that's Potts. Potts uh, lets it slide to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper plays it out to 21. A uh, bit dispossessed. That's uh, Dutcher. Dutcher back to Mayumbo. Mayumbo to Ngale. Ngale plays it out. Great possession out of the back. Yes. Uh, Woodside, Woodside to Potts. Potts can't chase it down. Back to the keeper. This is going, oh, uh -oh. not actually a bad ball there from the goalkeeper. Hey, yep. what a great touch there by 21. Yep. You cannot fault him there. There's a great ball by the goalkeeper there. El Garbery, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's been all over the place tonight, hasn't he? He has. We've got 58 seconds left. The your Muskegon Rangers up t uh, 10 to four. It's a six goal lead going uh, almost to the end of the third uh, period here. Schmidt with the ball. Schmidt plays it <laughs> in deep, but it is out of bounds. Luckily he was behind or in front of that uh, defensive third there. Ball played in the middle. Uh, Schmidt, Schmidt. met. Uh, the attacking player, the double team there, Mendez, Mendez, Mendez. Great footwork. Oh, it should be teed up for Dinsmore. Dinsmore Back door. with the ball. And Mendez, yep. got a goal. Yep. Goal! Just like the savvy color commentator said, there's the back door there. Uh, Dutch, or, uh, Dinsmore finds uh, who is on the back side of there, Mendez. Mendez. That was a, a beautiful setup goal there. Is that Aldoni's third? That's his third hat trick. On the the hat trick as we sat there and talked about how everyone shared it around. We finally have our hat trick. But uh, honestly, Ben Ritzma's got this crew playing unselfish, playing like a team, playing like uh, you know a team that is on a mission. Got 30 seconds left. Uh, looks like a crack at it from uh, Cincinnati. Uh, again. Met by a field, Cincinnati met by a field of risers, plays it back. Uh, ball out to the wide there, played in for the middle for number four, Washington. Washington with the ball. Again, slippery. It must be those purple shoes. Slippery again, looks to shoot. Blocked by the risers. Uh, taken out of Crawford, two, one. Ball's released. That will end it for our third period. We've got your Muskegon risers with 11 goals. Uh, the Cincinnati Swerve with four goals. I am Dylan Darga uh, here with Kyle Skodak, our producer Billy Mann, our production team with Jesse King, and Lee Andrews announcing at the Mercy Health Arena. We will be back in just a second uh, to get our fourth and final quarter underway. Hello, this is Dmitry, the Russian hacker. Please disregard the following message from Catchmark Technologies. It will make my life easier. Thank you. If you own a business today, that business is exposed to digital risk. Data privacy, compliance, and of course, cyber attack risks are just a few that you may need to manage. If you don't have the staff or internal expertise to help mitigate the risks your organization faces, call Catchmark Technologies at 616-384-4616. You have a lot of choices when it comes to insurance companies, so let me help you narrow them down. Hi, I'm Jenna Potts, your local Farm Bureau insurance specialist with the Durga Insurance Group. We are a company dedicated to serving only Michigan. We know you, we understand you, we protect you. All of us at the Durga Insurance Group live and work right in this area, so we're always nearby. Local agent, local service, and local savings. Come and see us today or visit our website, like durgainsurancegroup.com, you know, to find uh, out more. July of 1987, the company was founded here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We recruited Mario in to join our company as one of our uh, branches to serve the Muskegon community. Uh, he has grown to uh, five locations, uh, serving people up and down the lake shore. A lot of companies, they're sometimes in it more for themselves and closing that deal for just their monetary reward. And I think with Mario and his company, it's not just that. And I don't know if that always happens in our world. All right, welcome back to the Mercy Health Arena. I am Dylan Darga uh, here with Kyle Skodak, the uh, varsity 
men's coach at Orchard View High School and also the JV girls coach. Uh, we have a score of the Muskegon Risers of 11 and your uh, Cincinnati Swerve with four goals. We've got a pretty commanding lead here by the Risers. Uh, looks like they're gonna go right to left uh, to enter this fourth quarter. Uh, and the Swerve is gonna enter left to right. Uh, Kyle, what, what can we expect from this fourth quarter? Uh, I think you're going to see a little bit more possession by the risers and they're not going to take, any, take as many chances um, as Cincinnati should be taking here. Um, you know, down seven goals, so you got to start doing something or else you're not going to win. Uh, what do they say about insanity? Is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? Uh, is it quite there from Cincinnati? I don't know, but they've got a long car ride away. Uh, to head home and uh, looks like we got a goalkeeper switch from uh, Cincinnati. Uh, we might have, who do we think? Double zero, Todd. Uh, is it uh, Gaglin? Gaglin and so risers possess the ball. Look like we're going back to Dutcher here. Dutcher plays it in uh, across to Ngale. Ngale to Mendez. Doesn't look like he wanted to ride that, ride that one down. Uh, looks like he's going to get it right back rewarded. Yep. Where he wants uh, it. You know, sometimes it's like that. You know, he, he wants it back. You know, it's, it, you he's gotta, feeling it tonight. He's, got he get, a, he's going on he, a hat trick. When he, he got a hat trick it. like yeah. that, uh, you know, you can you can kind of demand where you want the ball. Yep. So, and good for him. Dutcher, Dutcher with the ball. Uh, Mendez, Mendez looks to turn. Looks to, yes. Oh, this is his turn. game. I, you know, I, is there a technically skilled player better than him oh, tonight? Not tonight. There is no. Oh. And, he was on point last game too. Dutcher, Dutcher looks to play it in. He's got Whiteside, a little bit off, off to the right there. Uh, Woodside, sorry, Woodside. Uh, back to Ngale. Ngale, the product of uh, Paris, France here for uh, MCC and Brent Kowalski and his crew there at uh, Muskegon Community College. What a fantastic job they've done. Uh, Michael Schmidt plays it in. What a touch a there touch. by 21. Uh, O'Keefe, O'Keefe plays it in off the boards. We've got Knight chasing the ball down, Schmidt, Schmidt. Back to number 21 here, what's Woodside? Woodside takes a look around, uh, no pressure. Kind of like you just said, Kyle, like there's no hurry. You're up seven goals. Uh, you know, let's, let's bleed this clock a little bit. We're about a minute and a half into the second, or the last quarter here. Uh, ball played into Woodside. Woodside plays it to Knight. Knight looks to take 1v1. White's got somebody in the middle. A uh, bit broken up. O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks a little bit wide. Uh, Schmidt on the ball. Can we compliment uh, Michael Schmidt on his haircut? <laughs> it's, uh, is there a better haircut out here tonight? I don't, not a better haircut. Not a better Craw beard out there. Crawford there right maybe. Crawford maybe. I don't know. The dreads do. The yep. dreads Potts do. with the ball. Potts back to Crawford. Crawford back to Woodside. Woodside plays it oh, in. Oh, great ball. Oh. Get that left. Oh. Oh. Great look there. Oh. Potts. Oh. Potts. <laughs> About anywhere but there for Potts. Uh, and he finds the back of the net. A uh, bit unlucky, uh, but great pressure there by the risers. Uh, risers looking to play back uh, and get back on defense here. Cincinnati with the ball. Cincinnati plays it out wide. 22. That's Mosier. Mosier plays it across to 21. 21's been very active again. Must be those purple shoes. Uh, Mayumbo plays it out. Looks like uh, risers can go here with some speed. Uh, they've got it, that's for sure. Uh, Knight. Oh, oh, yes, why not? Great effort, great effort. Yes, great great save. Ngale, Ngale, Knight. Knight back to Knight with the ball still. I thought he was going to play it back to Dinsmore. Knight's going to look at that 1v1 challenge. Nobody oh, home. Nobody, nobody home on the far side. Yeah, a bit bit dispossessed there by uh, Muskegon, but I can imagine they'll find it here. They drop uh, five back behind the ball. Uh, exactly what you need to do. Um, everybody looks like they're accounted for, uh, and that's what's been making it hard for uh, Cincinnati, right, Kyle? Oh, yeah, definitely. Muskegon, even being up some seven goals, Muskegon defensively is just holding it down. I mean, they've had a couple bad breaks, but, I mean, that's the game. Yeah. Dinsmore with applying the pressure. Knight nice move. took out of his shoes there a little bit. Uh, still trailing the play. Not a bad ball there. Uh, Dinsmore. Dinsmore to Knight. Knight is possessed. Crawford there stays on right it. Here. here we go. Oh. oh, unlucky there. He had him. Number eight here. Uh, Agel uh, has been very active for Cincinnati. Uh, great 
possession here by Cincinnati, number 11, uh, 11 to eight, eight outside. A little bit sloppy play there by eight. Looks like he wanted to get off the field as fast as possible there. <laughs> Ball played back. We're about five minutes in, four minutes in uh, to the final fourth uh -oh. quarter here. Um, whoa, <laughs> bit wishful there from 21. Uh, do you think we see Vollmer? I think we see Vollmer this quarter. I, I think we're going to see him this quarter. I mean, if, if we get one more, I think we see Vollmer. I think I think you're right. Um, uh, Miami's played a fantastic game in net for uh, the risers. Oh, we has. got Schmidt back to Crawford. Crawford up right. to Spees. Spees back to Mendez. Men, oh, that's not Spees. That's uh, uh, Merker. Mendez. Mendez tries to take his player one on one. Uh, Merker. 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 Back to Mendez. Oh, oh a little stopped. bit more weight oh. on that ball. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, say oh, why not? Save. That's Spees. Oh, good touch. Yes, goal! Dutcher. Dutcher. Western Michigan University's finest, Mr. James Dutcher, that, finds the back of the net. There it is, right there. That is his second of the night. And Ballmer's going in. Ball just like we just, said. Man. Do you got an hourglass next to you? You got that magic eight ball because that was uh, called. You said one more goal and Vollmer's finding himself in. Uh, Michael Vollmer, again, the journeyman uh, player. Calvin Christian, product of Grand Haven High School. Um, you know, in for the game for the risers for the last 10 minutes. Mayumbo, uh let's give him a ton of credit for the job that he's done in net. And I got to imagine Vollmer will back it up here. Uh, Dutcher on the ball. Dutcher to Schmidt. Schmidt holds it off. Schmidt again by the boards, holding him off. Finds himself in trouble. Uh, dispossessed there. Oh, Schmidt works well, man. I can imagine a part of that is is that hair. <laughs> you may have thought that was a foul there. Uh, looks to get back. Uh, Muskegon Rage is looking to put five people behind the ball here. Schmidt up top. Looks like uh, a little bit of token pressure. Hey, why not? Let them have that from outside. You got to tip your cap. Somebody scores from there. Ball played out. Uh, 28 on the ball. Um, that is number, or that is uh, Tenuta. Tenuta with the ball uh, played out. Uh, we got Edwards playing the ball. And ball played off the front here. Oh. Uh, good, good break up there by Spees. And great defense by Dutcher. We got number eight out top. Again, he's the one that hit that rocket in the first quarter. Uh, Washington, Washington on the ball. Purple shoes. Purple shoes. Purple shoes. Again, if you're going to be, you're going to wear the flashiest shoes out there, you better be the best player is what my coach has always told me. <laughs> Blade of grass there took that one out. Oh. Bit unlucky for uh, Cincinnati. A little home field uh, advantage from the risers. Uh, as we go forward, Slow this is down, Dutcher. Dutcher back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe spreads it out wide. Is that Spees out there? Or is that Merker? That Merker. That's Merker. Merker to, is that Potts? Nope. Um. Dutcher, is that Nganu? Yeah, Nganu. Ngan yep. That's three lines, I think. I didn't call it. Didn't, no. <laughs> didn't see it. Didn't no, see no, it. No, 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 no they yep, didn't. No, yep, no, three no. lines. A little bit too much there from the risers, but again, eight goals. Uh, you've got a little bit more of a margin of error. We got eight minutes and 11 seconds left uh, on this clock. What are we looking for, Kyle? Like, what, uh, what do we want to see? What do we not want to see? I mean, we want to hold this possession, you know. We don't want to slow the game down a little too much, but, you know, you want to keep it to where you're more comfortable. Riser set up a wall with two people. Yeah, block. blocked by Flores. Well done. Good sacrifice there. He owned it too. Yeah, um, we see games that get chippy often, right? Yep. That uh, you know, uh -oh. you know, like you get late in these games, and uh, we you still don't want to see any bad injuries. Yep, yeah, that's what we don't want to see. Washington on the ball. Washington plays it to number twenty-three. Number twenty-three. Uh, oh. Gray. Great. Nah. A uh, bit unlucky there. Yep. Good goal there for uh, Cincinnati. Uh, that's 23. twenty-three. That's Gray. Gray finds himself in the score sheet tonight. Logan Gray to find himself on the bench here in a second. Put a good shift in. Uh, we're a seven-goal lead now. Uh, we're at 12 to five. 
Uh, your Muskegon risers are, are up. Uh, first goal that Vollmer's given up in uh, two games there. So, um, so what we will do here is we'll take it to break, uh, and we'll be back here in a second. Van Dyke Mortgage, we, you know, we started uh, 1987, July of 1987, the company was founded here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We recruited Mario in to join our company as one of our uh, branches to serve the Muskegon community. Uh, he has grown to uh, five locations, uh, serving people up and down the lake shore. A lot of companies, they're sometimes in it more for themselves and closing that deal for just their monetary reward. And I think with Mario and his company, it's not just that. And I don't know if that always happens in our world. So once I started brewing, um, I fell in love with the industry, the people of the industry, um, and just how craft beer brings people together. The community has really uh, accepted us, and really we, we made this place to create our clubhouse, pretty much, where we want to hang out. And we have the beers we want to drink and the stuff we want to do, and we really hope that the community would just be of that same mindset and want to come here too and have fun, and they sure have. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Mercy Health Arena. You've got your Muskegon Risers up 12 to five against the Swinsonetti Swerve. I'm Dylan Darga, I'm here with Kyle Skodak, our producer, Billy Mann. Jesse King is the production manager. Uh, Lee Andrews on the announcing call for the Mercy Health Arena. Uh, we are getting ready to go. We have seven minutes and 47 seconds left. A seven goal lead for the Risers. What are we looking to do, Kyle? We're looking to close this game out, uh, you know? Couple more goals, goal differential would be nice. Yeah. You know, get some of those stats. Anything that Cincinnati's worried about? Um, at this point. Oh. Oh. It, some youngsters got to keep their head on the swivel on the outside there. Ooh. Looks like it could have been bad, but it didn't. Ball played out. Uh, we got Cincinnati with the ball, Job with the ball in, uh, back with it. Uh, we got number 20 outside here. Uh, that is. Petri, Petri plays the ball in, uh, met by Matt Schmidt with great defense. Good hole. Uh, yes, Job with the ball outside, looking to play it out. Cincinnati's looking to hold possession here, but they've they've got a big deficit that they need to uh, need to come back by. So, uh, got to look to get going forward here. Job with the ball back, uh, our new keeper, uh, Todd Gaglin. Um, plays it out, Matt, uh, Mr. Schmidt there. Uh, that's a good play out. Vollmer with the ball. Edwards in. Woodside, Woodside to Crawford. Crawford looking to split the defense. Flores, Flores uh, met by Job uh, Mendez. <laughs> Mendez looking to take people on one on one. Oh, that's great. nothing new. Mendez finds oh unlucky there. Oh, yeah, we play it forward. We got Flores, the leading goal scorer. Ooh, good try. Good look. It's about all you can do with that bad angle. Oh, good Mendez, try. Mendez looking to take people on one-on-one -on -one again. Flores, oh, Flores looks to find there, somebody. Edwards, Edwards looks to go again. Man, Edwards has had a great game tonight, I think. I think so, too. Mendez is, I mean. Defensively, yeah, he's, been, uh, he's been in the mix on almost every play going in. Flores finds that far side almost as a dummy. Is that uh, Dutcher? Yeah, Dutcher. You can see his feet. Absolutely. Back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Dinsmore. Dinsmore. O'Keefe. O'Keefe back. Again, looking to spread out. Not necessarily. Uh, oh, he Dinsmore had him. Was there. Looking to go. But uh, you know why? Why waste it, right? You got five minutes and 45 seconds left. Um, you're up seven goals. Why not? The problem is, is if you mess around with this ball too much, uh, get too comfortable, right? Yep. Without going forward, that, that's when turnovers happen, right? O'Keefe, O'Keefe to uh, Flores, Flores. Flores got many shot. options. Flores, oh, what a rifle. Dinsmore, Dinsmore looks to put it back on frame. Wide right, up into the net. Goalkeeper plays it for Cincinnati. Looks like he's going to roll it out. Muskegon State, no, he's going to go throw it deep. Why not? And you're down out. seven goals, and you're out. Um Muskegon Risers ball here uh, on the near side of the field here about uh, in their defensive third, plays it to the attacking third. Uh, that's P 
Potts. Great first oh, touch. Flores, Flores, oh. what a hit. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I think that hit the net. That's gonna be a corner for the, the risers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Potts I got yeah. in there? Yeah, I think, I didn't know if he knew that was the ref. That could have got did. ugly there. That could have <laughs> got ugly. I don't know if there's where he throws some bows or what, but uh, Flores is looking uh, again. You know, what are you trying to do on these corners here, Kyle? I mean, you got you got Schmidt back door right now and the easy tap and if he gets him. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough ball to slide through, but if it happens. Got, uh, what do we got, Potts up top with uh, Dutcher. Dutcher um, and Dinsmore and, and Sh Schmidt, uh, Schmidt on that far side. Let's see what happens. Uh, Looks like they're trying to do to play it into the backside. Flores, Flores back to Dutcher. Oh no, he's Far side, far side. Dinsmore, Flores, oh, Flores, Flores, Flores. Oh, it's Flo <laughs> Man, he's been slippery. There it is. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Goal! Jacob Potts finds the back of the net for our ninth Muskegon Riser goal uh, for the night. 13 to five. Uh, we have four minutes and 56 seconds. What do we see there, Kyle? Hustle. Great hustle by Flores. Stayed with it. Was looking for a goal himself. Didn't happen. Got the rebound. Made a nice easy pass for yeah, the backdoor shot. Pretty unselfish play there. Uh, Cincinnati plays the ball back. Looking to go quick. It might be a little impatient at this point. Yep. You know, that, that trip. A lot of force passes. And that trip back to Cincinnati sounds a lot less enjoyable down uh, eight goals right now, doesn't it? What a great ball there by Mendez. Mendez. Mendez wants another one. Yes, he does. Why, and why not? Oh, oh there, there it is. is. There it is. Goal! Aldone Mendez. Guatemala City, City Guatemala uh, plays for Aquinas and slips it underneath the goalkeepers. We call that the magical garden right there, underneath their arm and their leg right there. I bet you the keeper wanted that one back, but uh, for the fourth goal of the night, 14 to five, uh, risers are up nine. Uh, and again, you can see the uh, frustration by Cincinnati Crawford with the ball. Crawford plays it to uh, Knight. Crawford, you got a three V two if they go quick. Vollmer was not uh, fooled by that ball out there by the risers. Uh, Cincinnati looks to go forward. Yeah, Mendez, four goals tonight, nine on the season now. <laughs> not a bad outing tonight, huh? No. Ben Risma's got to be happy with the plays, boys playing tonight, huh? Oh, it's, it's 14 goals at home. We got O'Keefe driving. Really good. We got uh, Spees. Yep. Spees. One more. One more. Cut in. Cut in. Backside. Oh, oh wow. great idea. It's great usage of the boards there. It's almost as like uh, another attacking player, doesn't it? It does. Schmidt on the play. Schmidt on the defense. On Again, the defense. met by 3v1, 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 3v1. Knight. Oh, that's <laughs> no. Oh, come on. <laughs> he yeah. wishes he could have that one back, too, I yep. think. He knows it. Yeah, he's going out. He knows he should have done better. Unlucky there from Knight. Uh, but, again, you know, it's uh, risk-reward there is uh, that's not bad. You've got a nine-goal lead uh, with three minutes and 30 seconds left. 22 with the ball here going forward. That's Mosier. Mosier with the ball. Mosier looks to dump it in. Met by Crawford. Crawford disperses out. We got Spees on the ball. Spees not giving a lot of room. Edwards, Edwards playing 1v1 versus 11. 11, not a bad look. All good out. Good play out. Is that uh, Potts? Potts, Potts, or that's uh, Merkel. Merkel, Merkel, if he goes quick. Yeah, not looking for the buildup. Crawford, yeah, I don't blame him. Slow no down. rush, Edwards. Edwards to Woodside, Woodside to Crawford, Crawford to this side of the arena. Uh, we got a 3v2 if he goes quick. Uh, Yo, great, oh, good try. Yes. What a great opportunity there for uh, Potts. Potts exact, did exactly what he needed to do with that ball. Potts chases it down again. Risers again, five behind the ball. Yep. They're just having fun now. Yeah. You can tell they're having fun. You got uh, two minutes and 25 seconds left. Um, again, oh. oh. 
Joe with the, the 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 goal posted up. The X Muskegon riser. Yes, and not a bad look there. Not much that uh, Mr. Vollmer in the back could do. Uh, not a pretty nifty goal there by uh, by Joe. Joe. Mr. Potter. So here we are, two minutes and 23 seconds left. Uh, your Muskegon risers up 14 to six. Uh, we are looking here to, uh, you know, see what can, how we can finish it up. Muskegon in commanding lead. Uh, ball played to Dutcher. Dutcher met by two defenders. Oh, oh. unlucky there. Bad pass. Uh, very bad pass. Good D. Good D. Way to, Way to make up. And who? Look Johnny who it is. Yep. Good job. Aldani. Uh -huh. Mendez. Mendez again. Last two games I've watched of him at home, he's had he's had outings. He's had some great there. outings. Dutcher, Dutcher plays it across. You got Mendez in the center. Far side. Far side by Flores. Flores to Dutcher. Dutcher looking to shake and bake. Again, he is shifty. He is shifty. That's going to be a foul. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of frustration sets in. Ngale. Ngale. From Paris, France. Mendez looks to play it quick. This is Flores. Flores plays it in. Keeper okay. finds it quickly. Nice plays it quickly. Michael Schmidt here uh, runs the ball down. Again, great solid defense there. Good shot. Uh, yeah, not a bad shot. About all he could do with that ball. Crawford on the ball. Perfect. Washington. Washington. Nice Again, slippery. There we go. Flores. Flores looks to counter. Flores looks to counter. A uh, bit frustrated there. Washington with some people on, on, his, that one. on his, yeah, absolutely. Dinsmore, Dinsmore dispossessed. Washington, Washington with the ball. I can imagine he's looking to go 1v1. Uh, Crawford, Crawford's had a solid, solid outing of the defensive end today. Minute left. Minute left, if he can go quick, it's gotta be that one right there. Uh, Flores, Flores tries to place oh, it down. What a beautiful touch. There, oh. oh. See who they give the credit to. I want to say that's Flores. I don't think Dinsmore touched it. I don't know. It's either Dinsmore or uh, Flores. 39 seconds left. I mean, uh, give credit to uh, either one of them, but I know Mr. Flores with his, his goals leading in the uh, in the league. I think he wants to keep it that way, and that would be a nice uh, addition to that. I see. I don't think our announcer uh, Lee Andrews has decided uh, who has got that goal yet. Flores out, night in for him. We'll let you know here in a second who that goal came from. Densmore. Densmore. Densmore takes it. <laughs> That's one of those where you know you, it's better safe to put it in the back of the net than sorry, right, yep. Kyle? Sure, Miguel doesn't. No, if you're a good teammate, uh, you don't care how that ball gets in. 13 seconds left. Uh, you know, thoughts about this game uh, as we finish this thing up here, uh, Mr. Kyle Skodak. Great performance. I mean, all around team effort tonight by the risers. Uh, they really showed it. Yeah, it really showed you what home field advantage can do, right? That's you right. know, you're uh, you're a nine goal. Oh, oh goal. Homer. 20, 21 finds the back of the net. Uh, that is Al Garbery. He's he's been all over the place. Might be uh, the MVP for the the swerve tonight. I think so as well. Uh, he's had a pretty good night. You know, he's, he's he almost got that Gordy Howe hat trick. He's had a couple goals. He's got a couple blue cards. Couple blue cards. He didn't get any fights, but it could have been there. Five seconds left. Looked like we're gonna end this thing correctly. Uh, Fifteen to seven is what uh, we're gonna end this here uh, for your Muskegon Risers and. Uh, you know, with that win, I think we we solidify the second seed, which will give us some home field advantage as the playoffs go, depending on what happens uh, going forward. Kyle, what can we say? Great game. Great great night for uh, Muskegon, um, for the women and the men, actually. Even though the women lost, I mean, still yeah. was a great showing. Yeah, uh, to say, and thank you guys for following along with us, uh, to say that we are green, 
uh, announcers or commentaries would be an insult to people that do this. Uh, this is only my second time and Kyle's first time doing this. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun with it. And, you know, as we look out in a packed Mercy Health Arena uh, with kids and families and jerseys and everything that is being uh, witnessed out here, uh, we can't help but to smile and see uh, what soccer has become in West Michigan and, 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 and here in Muskegon. So uh, and we talked about it earlier, but big thanks to Matt Schmidt uh, for putting something like this on and having a vision and a dream to, uh, to do this. Kyle? Yeah, I uh, just want to say thanks for everybody who uh, watched and uh, hopefully you uh, come back and watch again. So we finish up the night with your Muskegon Risers 15, uh, your Cincinnati Swerve 7. Uh, I am Dylan Darga. I'm here with Kyle Skodak, our producer, Billy Mann, our uh, production manager, Jesse King, and on the call at the arena, Lee Andrews. Thank you all in for watching this Catch Mark Sports uh, live stream. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Hopefully you guys have a great night. And uh, if you've not been to the Mercy Health Arena, uh, get yourself down here for a hockey game, for a soccer game, it is, or a football, indoor football game. It is quite the venue. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Drive safe, and we will see you soon. Van Dyke Mortgage, we, you know.